Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. So very happy we're showing our 2,840 here on Twitch. We're kicking things off with some FTL Stealth C. Uh, let's head on in and see where the day takes us. Somewhere fun, I'm sure. We're doing continuing our FTL hacking challenge, so not purchasing the hacking subsystem on ships that don't start with it. And the three that do, we're not going to upgrade the hacking subsystem. Just a fun personal challenge. Let's head on in and see where it takes us. Uh, I think the stealth ships are going to be a bit of a challenge because only three weapon slots and doesn't start with shields, so hacking is very valuable. Anywho, feel free to have some name suggestions for this very fine camo vessel. Going to grab some names from our name and game list for our starting crew and we'll be headed off. Where were we on this? 60 something. That's right, Crawfish. And Angel 9001. Mort 1337. Now, to its advantage, Stealthy does have a lot of uh, starting advantages, a lot of stuff to sell off, and a very decent weapon system. Hey there, Mike Marin. What's good? Great rank. Kel Tarrant, Greg and Balto. Is that a Nagy? What's up, Dikowski? Hojo Dan, Bratwurst, Sami. What's up, NBM? Big Bear. Hey there, Kraja Bull, Sequoia, Funky Gornilla. Before I choose a name here, is that Negi? Thanks for 43 months. Bratwurst, thanks for 57. Glad the stream lines up with your schedule today. Big Bear, thanks for those bits and that gift sub. And Terminator, thanks for 29 months. Tile Lights in 32. And Sequoia, thanks for 49. Thank you. I like sneaky cookie. Don't know what kind of cookie this is, but it's there. All right, here we go. If you're new to FTL, it is the roguelike game of space exploration. Our goal is to work our way through eight different sectors of randomly generated space on our way to a three-phase flagship fight. This map right here represents one sector. Uh, the lines at the end of the Rebel Fleet Pursuit pushing us towards the exit into Sector 2 and beyond. Well, right off here, I feel like there's not a lot of jumps in this sector. And since we don't have shields, it's very important that we don't run into hazards like asteroid uh, fields. I'm hesitant to take this jump because we get locked in here, but I'm not convinced there's enough room here to get everything. So I should probably go one, two, up here. Something like that. Maybe going down and then coming back up gives us the most flexibility on the way to the exit. I think that's true. All right, let's fix our crew here. Gonna put the human on weapons. Gonna put the slug on piloting. Slugs cannot be mind controlled, so they make great pilots. Oh, hell yeah, outpost. Okay, do you have a drone here? And it's a beam drone. So, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to accept this one laser as part of my existence here. Oof. Alright, no value point. That's good. Get this repaired. Airborne Hard, thanks for 72 months. Appreciate that six years of support. Cheers. All right, I missed.
All right, decent scrap reward at least. I mean, this is pretty tough, but I think I'm going to attack the Slaver Scum. I don't think I can turn down scrap rewards here. At least the missile will get eaten up by the shield drone. I'm just going to save up the charge because the mini beam is going to uh, take this out. We can do this. Hopefully hit. Or not. Oh, shield drone took that out. All right, all right. Okay, good. They do have an engineer repairing that. That's tough. That's good. Please hit. Thank you. All right. 20 scrap. It's about as high as you can get on sector one. That's great. 22 is effective maximum scrap. Okay, ion storm, not as scary as some other stuff. You got three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten before the exit. Very hard to get a full 10 here, though. One, two, three. If I go one, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half, seven, eight, nine, ten and a half. Okay. Might lose this jump, but I think taking this route makes sense. Gives me flexibility to go either here or I could even go this way and then come back down here. Okay, Ion Storm, I'm all right with. Okay, I do have mini beam. We block a little bit of the mini beam with the shield drone, but not all of it. So it depends on where they they fire actually. Ooh, that nice worked. Just right. Uh, no. It's a very bad offer. Hmm. Kind of would like to get this. Maybe I grab this now and end on this jump. This one is over halfway through, so that should work out. All right, let's see here. Okay, actually, no, we're going to get one of the two nebulas here. Two. Two. Hmm. I think going up first makes sense to reveal the other beacons. Let's let our O2 stabilize and we'll make a choice. Yo, little Tigru. Thanks for 100 months of support. Appreciate that triple digits. Hell yeah.
Alright, let's just take these fights as they're shown. Okay, shields online. Ooh, they're teleporting. Interesting. Oh, they both missed? Dang. I hope shields go down. Still a two damage missile. Ow. Let's clone up Angel here. Reject your offer here, bud. All right, so what I want to have happen here is I want the shield drone to block the pike beam if possible. It's a tough sell. I do get to fire both of my weapons beforehand. Maybe I just load the shield charger up now. Do it. You want to hit weapons first with the mini beam so the mantis repairs weapons. Okay, good. Yeah, there is a store here. That's fair. I think I'm one scrap shy right now of purchasing... Purchasing shields. If I remember right, shield plus sells for 30. I guess I could sell shield plus and uh, anti-drone to pick up shields. I could also go here first. One, one and a half, two, three, four, five, six. So six and a half is what I have. So it could go one, this is two, three, three and a half, four, five, six, seven.
Oh, three and a half, we still make this. So I think that is the route I'm going to take. So this way I get three more jumps before the store. We have to jump back. Which is fine. And even if that didn't work, we could still make up the room here. Let's go ahead and do this. Not having to drop shield overcharger would be a lot nicer. Yeah, for sure, Corello. It definitely opens up more drone possibilities. I think actually a key to victory on a lot of the three, uh, three weapon ships is going to be some sort of drone complement. Offensive or defensive, both important. Nice. He is shredded. Pretty nice start to this run so far. I'm definitely taking some hull damage. That's to be expected on a ship with no shields. Prepare to fight. Yikes. Okay, if I load up shield overcharger right away, it'll block the heavy laser. Just barely. Please hit. Thank you. Now we have enough to buy shields. Yeah, we're going to make this jump, no problem. We got one half, one and a half, two, and then back down. Let's attack the ship. They are teleporting. They have double engineer, which is complicated, but not too bad. I'm going to drop engine for right now. Hey, Leo13, thanks for 65 months. Appreciate that very much. 16 streak as well. Awesome. Oh, interesting. The laser went down. That's nice. Albeit temporarily, that's what we needed. Oh, this human's good at fighting. Dang. What a lad. Alright, clone zone angel here real fast. And we're going to the store. Alright, shields are here. Very nice. It's gonna straight up buy those.
Unless the first and most important threshold on any of the stealth ships is getting shields active. There's some things that delay getting shields on all of the stealth ships, but a pretty much optimal circumstance there that we just ran up shields right away. Um, not convinced I actually want to repair here. I kind of want to just save for the next store. Especially now that I have a shield bubble. I'm going to do exactly that. I don't need to repair right now. Attack the pirate. Here we go. Alright, so I'm going to wait exactly one second before turning on the shield overcharger here. So I'm going to go 1-1000. One, one turn it on. I'm hoping that the heavy laser now hits my shield and then the missile launcher hits the shield overcharger. Okay, my timing is a little off. Two seconds next time. Okay, um, at least the shield overcharger is going to go off here. Woo, that's as close as it gets. Alright, double rewards, very acceptable. Thank you, civvies. Just waiting for O2 to stabilize. Alright, I don't think I need to use a shield overcharger here. It might be worth doing so anyways, though. I'm gonna hold off here. No thanks. Okay, not a store, but another fight. What an amazing uh, sector for scrap here. Black cannon and ion. Yikes. And mind control. Yikes. Alright, shield overcharger's up right away. we hit with both here and the flat cannon went down that's nice yo gandy225 thanks for 31 months zionises thanks for nine months as well enjoy that continued lurk partner appreciate you So far, almost 200 scrap sector one.
Uh, Ion does double damage to Zoltan style shield spikes, so it would take two bubbles for one Ion damage on the Zoltan shield or shield overcharger. Don't need fuel. NG controlled sounds great. Don't have an engineer, but there's three stores here, and I definitely need an escalation on weapons. You know, I'd really like to buy two shields right now, but I know if I hit a store, it's going to be bad. I may only get one chance at weapons. It's a fact. All right, this should be a pretty easy crew kill. What we're going to do here is we're going to punch this guy almost to death. Nearly almost dead. But then we're not actually going to kill him. Okay, and when the other guy comes in, we're going to kill him. Then we're going to take down the... Okay, cool. Surround him now. Okay, they do have level 2 clone here, so they may actually get a clone off. That's tough. Ah, oh, we got him. Okay, Pulsar is definitely scary, but I probably should do it anyways. Mini Beam is generally beneficial inside the Pulsar. So I will say this could be a run ending jump. I'm just going to buy a power bar right now. No, no, I'm not. Good luck to me. All right, missile launcher is not too bad. Um, it's actually a pretty beneficial ship for Pulsar. We only have to damage weapons once, which is nice. Okay, and our weapon stayed online. Beauty. Very nice. Hey, thanks a lot, Relic Killer. I'm sure it'll be a good time. These three weapon ships are the ones that are going to be really tough for this hacking challenge, but I'm looking forward to it. Like I gotta say, it's been a pretty nice start here. I'd be a fool to complain about this situation. Okay, let's go ahead and hit the store now. We do have shield overcharger to sell, potentially, and we now have enough to buy any weapon in the game, even if there's no weapon available. Okay. Mind control is very tempting. I might just save for the next store, though. Maybe just buying two shields here and waiting. Weapon, weapon escalation is the main way we could get forward here. Mind control does open up some excellent crew kill potential, though. I guess in worst case scenario, we do have two fights coming up. All right, tell you what, I'm going to buy Mind Control and a Repair here. I don't think this is probably the best choice, but I think it's interesting, and I think we can maybe get some crew kills off of this.
I will give you three fuel, no problem. 21 scrap, thank you. Okay. Six jumps before the exit. I think I'm going to take this one here and then come around. Let's uh, skip the asteroid field with one shield. All right, we're going to be a hero and attack the pirates. Zoltan and human. Should have loaded that up sooner. Okay, it was still in time. So here, I'm going to mind control the human repairing weapons. Okay, well, two's down. Let's fix that. Okay, cool. I think we got him here. They left, that's fair. I could have toggled my shields a little more effectively there. I think I just take this one. Yeah, this is the one here. Going up lets us see that top right beacon, but doesn't improve our prospects otherwise. Alright, with two shields, I could have mind controlled this ship to death, but I don't have two shields. Do I need to use Overcharger? Does it even matter if I use Overcharger? I think I'm going to pop off Anti-Drone as this fires. Yeah, it's going to be tricky. I'm going to mind control this guy. Do this. There we go. Okay, my drone's burnt down. That's tough. Missed that little fact. Maybe there still is a crew kill here. Let's see what weapon comes online first. I think he has more than enough health here. Oh, yeah. Well, no worries. Mm -hmm. 
Alright. Two shields looking awful tempting, but so is just getting a weapon of any kind right now. No store. There's still a chance at a store here. I'm going to go one, two, three, but I'm also just going to buy two shields outright at the moment because it opens up a lot of potential. I think if I don't do that, we're going to run into a ship that'll hurt us too bad. Excuse me. Pairs are still cheaper. All right, asteroid field and they're boarding. All right. All right tell you what, I'm just gonna collapse on this guy. I think I can just hammer the uh, the Zoltan down. It's very reasonable. Fire in there too, beauty. If you make it back, he died on the floor. Hole smasher laser. All right, that's an escalation right now. I mean, a weapon doesn't even have to be a good weapon. It just has to be something I can put power into. Hell yeah. Now, I'm going to leave Crawfish mildly injured here. What a great day for some FTLs. Reminded me of all day stream today. Probably somewhere between 10 and 12 hours for today's stream. Not even an hour in yet. Going to be a fun one. No store back here. Interesting. So the stores were these two jumps is fair. All right, we're gonna attack the ship here. They do have med bay, but they cannot damage us. All right, of course he went there. I'm gonna try to kill off this Manus. Alright, Mantis is dead. So, I think what I want to do is mind control the engineer. It does not pull the Mantis. Very interesting. Is there a way to get the Mantis repairing O2 here? There definitely is. It's going to take a second, though. Okay, there we go. The Mantis is now the repairer, so I'm actually just going to wait here for the Mantis to finish the repair. It's only one, and then I'm going to hit the O2, which is going to make the Mantis repair it. Should be able to manufacture an O2 kill here, That's what I'm getting at. Okay, they only got level 102 as well, so as long as I hit with one of the lasers, we can take down the O2. It's almost assuredly going to be an O2 kill. Okay, 
Takes a man is 15 full seconds to repair. It's a it's a f eternity with no O2 on. Hey, glad you could be here, Great Rain. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Big bada boom. Two more passes like this and they go away. I think really important on this ship and other three slot ships that we find all of these or most of the crew kill potentials because if we don't, could be leaving weapons on the ground, which is really tough here. Okay, right now I can just buy the weapon power and have four lasers. Let's see what this exit beacon is. Ooh, okay. I think I'm going to sell 12 drone parts for 48 scrap here. Yeah, it takes us down to one drone part, which is uh, sketchy, but we don't have the best use case scenario for uh, drones at the moment. 48 scrap is a lot of scrap at this point. Rebel control their uncharted nebula. I think I'm going to take the nebula here with long range scanners. All right, immediate store. I need to get this weapon escalated. Uh, right now it is 60 scrap plus power to have four lasers plus mini beam, which is definitely good enough for this upcoming sector. Uh, I would definitely buy, like, Flak or Burst Laser 2 or some other three-slot weapon escalation. I don't know what else, though, right now. I mean, if I take a couple of jumps before this door, I could even be in range of buying cloaking. The kind of issue is that if I run into a two-shield ship, it's very hard to deal with. I can, but maybe. Hey, Sergeant Cortez, thanks for 96 months, eight years of support. Little hand to you, dude. Thank you. How much uh, do we have here? I have seven power. Oh man, it's tough. All right, let's just hit the store now and probably come back down here. And what do we got? Cloaking, hacking sensors, defense scrambler, shield charge booster, whole laser one. Ooh, hull repair drone. Okay, I like the idea of hull repair. Okay, just having charge laser, hull laser right now to just four lasers. Really kind of like the idea of hull repair drone.
Boy, that's a tough choice. Okay, so 25 for weapon. If I sold shield plus, I could get... Full repair. I think I'm going to do that. Bit of a weird purchase here, but I'm thinking uh, into the later games it's going to make sense. Okay, exactly five. Now I can also have four lasers online, and I can heal my own holes. Should be the last repair I buy. Okay. Mm-hmm. I can just lead you out of the nebula instead of uh, you firing at me a bunch. Thanks. All right, power bar. Well, maybe not. What's it feel like when we're not an ion storm right now? All right, I definitely need power. It's a fact. Let's just buy that power now. Wow, they got some laser beams and stuff. That's true. Yeah, this could be a little painful if I don't do this option or ignore it. Don't think I'm going to be turning down scrap right now, though. Mind control should be at least moderately useful here. Okay, not going to hit weapons. That's good. Okay, the two damage uh, missile went down. That's good. Shields got hit. That's bad. Good. Well, good ish. Good enough. Good. No, I'm good. Went through a lot of work here to get this, uh, get this kill. Oh, he died? Okay. Is there, like, a crew kill here that can maybe happen? I think if I mind control the rock here, uh, after the first repair happens, he's going to pull down, and then we might be able to get a kill. Let's see if this is true. 68. They'd have to both be below 45 here. No, both be below 30 here. Oh, 31? Okay. We tried. Yo, Dr. Joger, thanks so much for eight wonderful months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thanks a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight or so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's really nine, nine, maybe even ten. I think I'm still just going to take this jump. I mean, I can always hook over here if I need to. 
Gives me some information. Go ahead and buy a power bar right now. There we go. All right, I think weapon power is next, because weapon power with the mini beam really ups our power level a lot here. Definitely need that before Sector 4, certainly. Okay, station, hell yeah. Oh, they're going to fire all three? That's tough. Okay, that went down. Beauty. It's amazing what having a mini beam in on a system like this does for it. Juke Aroni City. Okay, at least we hit once is going to delay this repair. And we're getting weapon training here. I guess it's another positive. Good to know. Okay, as long as we're hitting like once every three to four volleys, it's going to stay safe. And that's all I care about. Auto scouts are notorious for having a high amount of evasion. That's a fact. Alright, got a breach, cool. Okay, I've got a breach, I can actually load up engines here. If I was really hard pressed and we were playing for uh, win loss, I would use this opportunity to uh, train, but there's no sense in doing that here. The worst that happens, we lose and do another run of FTL. Oh no, not more FTL. Oh my goodness, Zanyan Law, thank you so much for that very generous $25 donation that I missed over a half hour ago. Thank you for the incredibly kind message included with your donation as well. I'm going to add you as the next person on the name and game list, which is going to be number 75 now. Zanyan Law. Sorry for missing you, dude. You're officially in there, and you will be our next crew member, provided we find one. Boarding drone, interesting. Hey, you're not, Paul. Thanks for making it official with Prime, man. Thank you. Okay, that's a big missile launcher. Okay, if I do two damage to weapons, that should be done. I'm gonna give that a try. Okay. Luckily, I should fire before they fire this, so uh, with mind control, very likely the missile launcher goes down. Oh, I just fired at the wrong system? I guess I did that to myself. 
Yeah, cool. Okay, well, we're good now. That was three damage I didn't need to take. Ooh, we got a breach there. Maybe, just maybe, if I get a breach in the O2, there can be a kill here. Or even better, I can maybe do this. Let's see how this works out. Okay, no breach. Twenty six scrap a doodle. Speaking of crew, I'd really like a crew right now. Fourth crew would be very excellent. Alright, got a nice string of uh, stuff coming up here. Like it. So we got three, six, six jumps. So really seven is what we get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Um, having seen this, I'm going to buy weapon power, power bar. So now I can have mini beam at the end of that four laser complements. Manually search. Yo, Debbie the shield trained human. I mean, Zanyan Law the shield trained human. Nice. counts as Ion Storm. Okay, let's see what our power is like outside of the Ion Storm. Oh, I did that. Alright, three laser beams. That's where we're at. Honestly, boarding drone here can maybe get a kill, but I gotta weigh every use of a drone part versus using hull repair instead. I can tell you, most of the time it's just not gonna make the cut. Let's try a little cheeky play here. Hit weapons, I'm gonna mind control. And this should pull, yes, the other crew in there. Good. Okay, they're basically almost dead. I think I got a crew kill off of this. Alright, so I'm gonna wait till my control's back up, and then I'm gonna mind control the person repairing the weapons. Six fuel, 28 scrap, sick reward. Okay, certainly one more power bar is not going to be wrong seeing where we're at. Now we're going to stop buying power for a second. I'm also going to pop off a whole repair drone here, just one. Hell yeah, max repair on that one, five. So we go one, one, two, three, four, five, maybe six. But we know this is already empty jump, so I might as well not include it. Long range scanner, blammo. Okay, this one has a med base, a little more complicated. Fire here and then here. Okay, we did get us got a breach in O2. That's really awesome.
Definitely okay with this laser popping off. And when he goes to re repair in the med bay, I'm going to uh, hit him. Enemy FTL delayed. Let's just hit here. There we go. I think I'm just going to mind control this guy because it keeps him not repairing the O2 for longer. Yep. Like, he may end up finishing this total repair, but after that, what's he going to do? Okay, he's going to repair O2, or try to, but there's no oxygen in this room, so it should be a failed repair. In fact, I guess I can probably guarantee a failed repair if I do mind control here. Yep. Going back to weapons? Okay. I guess everybody makes choices. 27 scrap a do. Yo, Gonzo the Sock Puppet, thanks for 103 months, 103. Thank you, dude. There won't be a next time. Open fire. Okay, only a two crewer here. Uh, do I mind control now? I kind of think maybe I do mind control now. Uh, Lutz. How much health? 30? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you, Pin Pin. Thank you, Pin Pin. Yeah, <laughs> what's up, James the Slug? All right, James the Slug is gonna be the uh, new uh, engine guy. Name's gonna be Field Medic 4077. Oh, it looks like a... Uh... Misspelled it in the spreadsheet here. One second. Viraled. F I E L D. <laughs> Still wrong. Having a brain's difficult. Ooh, there's a store back here? Alright. Howdy do, friend. Howdy do. Well, I'm gonna sell boarding drone for 35 here. I would love to buy cloaking, but we're just not quite there yet. Also not going to buy any repair, because we can repair with drone parts. Cool store, though. We're being brought all sorts of stuff by Pin Pin today. That's nice.
Hey there, Kraus. What's good? What's good? Prepare to fight. All right, no shields here. That's nice. You know, actually, I'm just going to drop the whole laser to make this safer. Never mind. Alright, exit's gonna be empty jump, but there's nothing left. Zoltan control. That's a little yikesy. We're okay versus Zoltan shields right now, though. Alright. Alright, early ships detected. I like that. Alright, good luck to me. Three shields, hacking, ion two heavy laser. Uh, the only saving grace here is that if I do one damage to weapons, we're safe. Okay, hey, well, safe after this shot, then. Miss. Hell yeah, miss. Yes, on average, it's better to repair with um, the drone. So the whole repair drone heals three to five per attempt. And repairs at minimum are two. So uh, repairs are two for the first three sectors, and they become three until Sector 7, and they're 4 repair. So the later in the game you get, the better off the whole repair drone is. But the fact of the matter is, no matter what the equation is, you're using a non-scrap resource to repair instead of using scrap, which is generally beneficial. You can consider drone parts to be 8 scrap each if you're purchasing them from the store, but... You usually have some left over, especially if we're not doing hacking in this challenge. Additionally, uh, when you're in sector five and above, anytime repairs are three or more, it's better just to buy drone parts from the store and use the whole repair drone than buy the repair straight out. Which is interesting, but true. All right, loads of NGs. This ship could actually be very painful if this fires all three and hits with all three. They also have defense too, so I can barely hit this ship. Barely. Okay, but I did barely hit. Um, do I hit weapons here? Oh, man. Shielding seems more tempting because if I hit shields, I might actually be able to follow up volley. Let's go ahead and do this, though. Yeah, that going down is big time. That's a very big deal. Also, piloting's down, so it looks like our next volley is going to hit. I think this is making it through. I'm going to do this. Okay, it didn't make it through, but the piloting's still down. Now they have two shields, so maybe, just maybe, I can get a hit off here. Nice. Okay, I'm actually going to let these ions through, my shields. So if the repair happens, I at least have a follow-up. Nice. 
that was gonna that could be a very difficult ship if that went just a little bit differently could have been really really scary it looks to me like I want two of these nebulas at most probably gonna just head up here and decide if I want to do nebulas or not Yeah, we're going to go over here. Let's take this jump first so we can see if there, there's a store to look forward to. Might be. So, great question, Tockler. Thanks for asking that one. Okay, they got the ion going on. Um, Same-ish deal here. If I can do one damage to weapons, we're probably going to be all right. But... This mini beam is almost assuredly going to hit us on this first volley unless they miss. They did not. I was hoping the mini beam was going to go down there. Okay, that wasn't bad. Eight missiles, two drone parts, 16 scrap. It's a nice offer, but I'm going to say no surrender for you guys. Okay, we got fire and weapons now. That's a beautiful thing. Beautiful happenstance. Okay, no store coming up, but we have uh, oodles of fights. Oodles. Um, so I know I have at least three fights before I see a store. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and buy two power bars here. It still leaves us in range of buying cloaking, and now I have power to work with. Just picking up three shields right here is definitely good. But I'm thinking that pretty soon I'm going to need something to replace the mini beam. So I'd like to be in range of buying a weapon and cloaking at the next store if possible. That'd be nice. Yo, Eleron and Cass, thanks for 40 six months happy sub renewal day to you as well platinar thanks for 67 too oh, that's a little rough guess we'll enjoy having that extra evasion now Mini beam first here. Okay. Weapons got hit. That's tough. Ooh, that was a volley for sure. Okay, missile launcher is still up. That's tough. Get this repaired right now. Ooh, we dodging. All right, let's get O2 repaired. At least it's only a Lado missile. I 
Hey, Tanino Sound. I feel like it's been a minute. Thanks for 15 months. Thank you. That's not a bad offer, but nah. That was like three drone parts. I'd be all over it. All right, 34 scrap instead. All right, let's pop off a whole repair here. Well, I'm going to keep taking the fights that are showing. There's been a huge amount of fights on this run. Okay, cloaking and missile launcher, pain. At least only two shields here. Actually, a very scary setup. Okay, only level one cloak, thankfully. You need to be on shields. It's actually important right now. hit on piloting first in case I took it down okay that's nice that's nice I mean not not the best but definitely less painful than some other options Okay, well, we're safe-ish. Yeah, okay, Claudia, that's very true. That's very true. Two is the max um, drum parts outside of quest beacons. Thank you for the correction. That, that sounds right. Oh, okay. Tell you what, I'm going to hit the store and then come back here. So I'll sacrifice a half jump to see the store. I definitely want to get goods right now. Cloaking would be big time. Weapon would be big time. There's cloaking. Ooh, defense drone's pretty big time as well. I do think cloaking... Defense drone and hull repair kind of counteract against each other, especially the defense drone and hull repair. So just going to pick up cloaking here. And I think I might do backup battery as well. Yeah, backup battery prepares us to get three shields. And I know I have at least two fights before another store and anti-drone to sell. So let's go ahead and do that. Backup battery get. And I'm just going to pop off one more hull repair drone here. Yo, another max roll hull repair? Hell yeah. Saving for three shields and weapons now. Getting cloaking allows us to delay three shields, though, big time. Okay, they boarded with two. I create a two on four here, I believe. Oh, they don't not going to go that way, huh? That's tough. Well, I can vent them out. To the weapons. There we go. Okay, let's just do the smart thing here. Um, 
I need to think about this for a second. I'd like to try to get a crew kill here. They have very little hull, though. So I can cloak the first missile, but probably not missiles after that. So I think the better play here is to mind control the pilot, and we'll just fire out at weapons. Hopefully everything hits, and then we can do this as well. Okay, there we go. Missile launcher's down. And in a bit of a cheeky play here, I'm going to cloak so I can kill off these crew. They can't teleport back while I'm cloaked, so you see their teleporter just came off a cooldown. They would have pulled the crew back. No longer. Okay, O2 is going back online. Okay, they apparently have fire burning down the shields at this moment. All right, so I'm going to mind control this guy, doing the weapons. What's the health at here? Definitely feels like a crew kill is going to happen. How much health? 46. Wow, that's a really amazing offer, though he's already dead. So do I care? Six fuel, two drum parts, 17 scrap. I do need fuel. I like drum parts, and it's not a bad scrap offer. The downside here is if I if I don't take this offer, I could get a weapon um, from getting the crew kill. I think chance at a weapon, albeit a very small chance, is still more important than the resources right now. That's how I'm feeling. Which chat think here? I think this is a tough choice because the value, if you add the cost of the fuel and the drone parts together, this is a really high scrap offer. Yeah, I you know I think getting a weapon is how this run progresses. It's not it's not getting stuff. Okay, still pretty nice offer. A pretty comparable even to what we would have got. Okay, pulsar here. Not a big fan of pulsars. Taking the pulsar now does give us a lot of chances at getting stores though. Maybe I do. I'm cloaking as well. No, I'm going here. We're in a very weakened state versus Pulsar at this moment. Yes, yeah, level two cloak. Yeah. Do you cloak the missile or do I cloak this? 27% chance to dodge. I'm going to cloak here. Okay, didn't land on weapons. That's good. dude double yikes okay weapons got hit but not twice cloaked the painful fight Please fire before it reaches. Go. OK, 
Okay, weapons are fully down right now. That's nice. Big old cloak, dang. Oh, hey, we're getting a crew kill here. Yes, I know, I'm very low on goods. How much health? 10? Okay, 5 fuel, 36 scrap. That does offset how painful that event was a bit. does leave us in range to buy three shields, but I think getting a weapon to replace mini beam with is of the utmost importance at this current juncture. All right, here we go. Okay, there is a store here. You know, having the... Uh, Cloaking does make diving much less painful. I think I'm going to go for a dive here, going one, two, three, exit. My other option would be to go just one, two. But I think if I hit a store right now, uh, I'd really like one more scrap reward. Hell, I could even go one, two, three. Ooh. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll take two jumps before the store. Uh, going into a Pulsar right now, as I mentioned, we're in a very weakened state versus Pulsars. But I think this is a risk I just need to take at the moment. Let's go ahead and use one hole repair drone to offset what's almost certainly incoming damage. Dang, dude. Back to back to back max value hole repair drones. What a lad. Wow, please don't, though. Have you considered I'm just a little feller? Just check it. And this is tough. Okay, I gotta get another crew back here. Is this coming in at my cloaking? It looks like it is. I think I need to cloak now. Oh, this is devastating. Okay, here it comes. Okay, weapons got hit. That is so beneficial. Okay, this could be so much worse than it is right now. It could be so much worse. Whoa. All right. Hot dog, that was scary shit, man. Uh, no? Two shields and a pulsar is your most weakened state because the pulsar is guaranteed to remove both shields, so you're, you're gonna be shieldless when the pulsar goes off if you have only two. All right, another nasty ship. Dang, dude. All right, all right. At least I have cloaking here. Probably also get a crew kill on this, depending on what happens. Do. 
do. Okay, fire in this room. You know what? Let's just vent that. Oh, nice dodge. Oh, that came back online. That's rude. All right, store time. Do a dive coming up after this. Weapon, please. You know, that is, that is weapons. How much is it for two weapon power right now? 125. I like the idea of halberd beam, but how do I actually functionally use it here? Yo, Grumpy OG, thanks for 83 months. Appreciate that prime continuation. Thank you so much. Well, for where I'm going, I kind of feel like buying charge laser is a necessity here. I'd like to have something a little better, but um, Halberd just doesn't quite work here. 65 and then and then what? Try to get to four lasers, Halberd beam. Eh. I already had one flak on hand or this whole laser was a flak. Then the Halberd beam looks a little more tempting, but it's still not great. Mini beam is highly effective when the shields get stripped, but we're barely operating uh, being able to do that right now. So I'm just going to buy the weapon power here. Now we have six lasers, which is not like a slamming system, but it is okay. I guess another very real option here would be to sell anti-drone and then buy halberd with the intention of replacing the whole laser with the halberd beam. Four lasers, halberd beams, not awesome, but it'd probably work. Really tough choice. I guess right now, how much better is four lasers halberd beam going to be compared to six lasers? Definitely depends on the situation. I'm just going to hold here. I want to sell the anti-drone as well. What does selling the anti-drone get me right now? Not much.
Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna sell anti drone. I'm gonna buy this halberd beam. I don't want to, but I keep thinking about it, and it makes a lot of sense for a little, just a little bit later in the run. Just a little bit. Right, this ship has Vulcan. At least no teleporter here. This should be all right. Okay, it's a breach missile then. Really fortunate dive ship. Thank you, FTL, for that one break. out of here pirate controlled or ng controlled well i think i go ng controlled because stores are how we escalate our weapons fact all right two shields going into sector five a little bit behind on defense but if you count the cost of having cloaking we're looking okay Probably not getting the stuff down here. All right, Warren down, but hungry pirate. What's up, dude? Oh, they're coming down here. Okay. Okay. They got some autopilot, guarantee it. That's better. Of course they reboard right there, why wouldn't they? All right, well. Gonna vent those guys out, cut the O2. Let's hit the shields now. Ah, dude, are you kidding me? Ooh, they broke the doors as well, that's pretty rude. Maybe you guys want to teleport back to your own ship here? I don't know. There you go. Did not need to take that damage. Could have managed differently. I think it's time for a round on the old cloner here. Definitely good enough. Hey, Delbach. Good afternoon to you, man. I'm glad you could make it today for our all-day Sunday stream. Just 
Stress is tempting, but I can get more reveals this way. I want reveals. Let's go. Hey, what's good, Baka Ona? What's good? Secure it. Shield overcharger drone. Okay. Okay, store upcoming. 78 scrap and shield overcharger to sell. Halberd beam in the wing. Let's go ahead and just hit the store now. Ooh, Vulcan. Okay, Vulcan can definitely win here. I've already spent so much on weapons, though. The Vulcan's very desirable on a three, uh, three slot weapon system. Can do Vulcan charge laser right now. Could also sell Hull and Halberd if I do this. I think, I think Vulcan's actually a reasonable proposition here, since we know we're not taking hacking subsystem on this run. Excuse me one moment, just a very quick restroom break here on the two hour mark on our run. I'll be right back in just a second. All right, we're back. Now, I thought it through, and I really think Vulcan's going to be a key piece in a lot of these three-slot ships, and I don't think we're going to make an exception here. So uh, the best-case scenario, if I keep the Halberd Beam online, is that I get uh, three a shot to replace this, so I'd have five lasers and Halberd Beam. Uh, Vulcan Halberd's also pretty all right. But this just makes sense right now. Can buy the Vulcan, and now I can power Vulcan and charge. So I have Vulcan with another two laser complements. Uh, yes, getting these other lasers in is important, but not as important anymore. I can now fully focus on getting my defense online. We also have cloaking to get past most scary ships. The downside is, in order to kill a ship, it's going to take upwards of 40 to 50 seconds every single fight. That's the downside of the Vulcan.
I still believe that was the correct choice, though. Okay, three, six, oh, three. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So jump eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, defense drone could be all right here, but I still have to offset that on the hull repair. So maybe, maybe not. I think even more than a defense drone, I should just accept that some fights we're going to be running from now. That's where we're at. I'm going to use a hull repair. Yeah, pre-igniter or reloader goes a long way on the Vulcan, though not a requirement to have either of those. Okay, three shields and then more weapons than engines. And if I can pull those things off, we're probably going to be okay. All right, so here's a ship that can hit us, but it takes a while. Oh, man, defense drone. Defense drone Mark II kind of shuts down the Vulcan. It's tough. I think with the charge laser, though, we can still do damage and maybe disable the drone. Also, think here, Halber Beam is on a 17 second timer. So, what number volley on the laser is going to land a hit? By the third shot, I need to cloak here. Not convinced that was correct. I mean, I should eventually hit the defense drone with this. I don't know if I can hang around for that long. Yikes. That's what I was worried about. I'm gonna hang around for just another second. Though this really feels like a situation where I'm probably running from this fight. Maybe not though. Yeah, defense two is like a hard counter to Vulcan, unfortunately. There's still a chance here that I can get through and damage, and if the drone goes down, that'd be good. Just gonna hold off for a second. Kinda believe this could happen. Saw the shields go all the way down there. I mean, So a fact is here, if some of these are hitting the shields, that means there is a chance for it to hit the defense drone.
Doesn't really matter if one or two fires your bags. The wind condition here isn't actually getting through shields, it's hitting the defense drone. This is a uh, defense drone two real deal, which targets both. I'm paying attention to the halberd, we're relatively safe. And again, it's only a matter of time since lasers are hitting the shield. Eventually, a laser will hit the drone here. I don't know how much longer I'm going to do this. A little bit. Field guy might be actually be better here. Okay, they have a anti-personnel drone as well. It's very unlikely this goes down on the first hit then. Oh, hey, we almost killed him off. We did kill one off there? Wow. give us about two more minutes and if we don't take down the defense drone I'm just going to move along oh hey I can actually get weapons down here hold on that's awesome okay was awesome. I think I should just leave before I take any more damage. Going off mic for a second, just having a quick snack. The voice, thanks for the tier two sub in 79 months. Much appreciation, dude. Thank you.
Yo, we hit. I'm having a little snack here. I'm going to debate on what the best choice um, to go here. I'm kind of wanting to hit drones, but at the same time, hitting shield is probably as effective. That's a fair question. I think combat drone would be very nice here. I also think I'm going to stick on shields. So if I fire at drones and I do not take down the... If I don't take down the, de the ability for defense drone to come up, we are back at square one. There we go. I can also mind control the shield guy now. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, we're we're winning now. Yeah, Greg, I think you're right that the charge rate is really nice with this. <laughs> okay, but have you considered what you put me through to win this fight? I will not accept surrender. No, sir. You give me that scrap of doodle, you give it to me right now. I'm going to use a horror repair drone. I would say, generally speaking, combat drone and Vulcan work really well together. The only downside of combat drone right now is I'm using hull repair, uh, which... So we have to be trading scrap, additional scrap for each use, essentially. Let's take one more fight here before I upgrade shields or anything. Alright, burst laser 2, charge laser. Four engineers, quadruple engineer, holy guacamole. Four of them? Nice, we did hit there. A little early on that. Alright, this one I should have waited for the charge to be fully up because I could have hit again. We're good now. Uh, this play is going to mind control these NGs. Uh, no surrender. Cool drone parts, though, dude. Oolade. 
Yeah, that's why I held off. I there might be another store, and there was. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is this one? It's gonna hit the store now. Mm -mm -mm. All right, well, I tell you what, I do believe that the stuff here is not worth buying. I mean, Burst Laser 2 looks super tempting, right? So does Combat Drone. But wouldn't it just be better to get the Charge Laser online? Yes, it would. And on that note, maybe I should have skipped this store, which is a tough thing to say. Automated reloader or pre-igniter would have been very, very worth it, though. Let's go ahead and buy three shields and power bar now. Okay. Now we're operating at a minimum. Okay, probably weapon power next. Two more lasers in this will be very useful. And also protect uh, as well. Okay, one, two, three. I definitely can tack there, because we used to play without Advanced Edition. Oh, man. Oh, man. They they blew me up. Right, anti-combat drones, free stuff. I like free stuff. All right, power bar. There it is. Hey, cheers, McCassie Rot. Hope you have a nice one too, dude. Thank you. All right, this is kind of nasty. We may end up um, running from the ship to the point that our Vulcan is kind of likely to go down here. Okay, our Vulcan didn't go down. That's amazing. Incredible. Nah, dude. Better lucky than good. Is something I'll keep saying and meaning. Hey there, Squidgy. What's good? What's good? All right, it's going to wait till we're free of ion damage to jump away here. Also, see a hull repair drone in our near future.
I can't believe how lucky we got there. Improved reactor for two missiles and three drone parts. So three drone parts is really hard to give up. That's our whole repair ability right now. Certainly does give us 30 scrap worth of resource, though. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I don't like losing the drone parts, but I can always buy drone parts or possibly find the repair station. I can't buy scrap. Also, three drone parts is 24 scrap, and a power upgrade is 30 scrap right now. So that all, that all mass out. All right, I think Zanyan Law needs a little trip to the clone zone. How much to bring this charge laser in? 165. That's got to be the next thing I shoot for. Gotsta. Ah, oh, what the hey? I'm going to use one more hull repair here. Oh, back to back minimum roll hole repair. That's okay. We had we had four or five hole repairs in a row earlier. I will choose not to complain about that. Okay, this is what we need to dodge. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and swap these crew real fast. Actually, walk him up here. What? That was pretty rude. Alright, that is one of the main weaknesses of... Vulcan, for sure. Now it's offline for an extended period of time. Is this a 1 or a 2 damage missile? 1. Weapons again? Oh man, am I running from this fight right now? Feels like I might be. Okay, I'm gonna not run from this fight. I do need to repair my shields first. I'm just gonna vent out the weapons. Uh, how I'm seeing this is that once they're out of missiles, we're totally safe versus this ship. So running is not so awesome. And also cloak a few more here. Okay, they're officially out of missiles, so we're safe now. Gotta repair up and then get a crew kill here. What we're gonna do. Repair backup battery after the fight.
pretty nasty event, but could have been a lot worse. Ion Bomb. All right. Yo, Trevis, thanks for 50 months. Appreciate that half century, my dude. Kind of tempted to use the hull repair here, but... Only got one drone part remaining. It's tough. Hey there, Ozzy. Thanks for five months, and good afternoon to you, man. All right, that's a lot of laser beam. Once I start hitting weapons, though, we're pretty much in the clear. Definitely cloaking that. Unfortunately, they're going to get a second volley off here. Okay, not so bad. And once we're at plus five, I'm going to mind control the pilot. And then we'll start firing here as well. We don't care if they clone, that's fine. All right, safety. Ah, uh, no surrender. Yo, Captain Rule, thanks for 75 months. Kofa, thanks for those bits as well. Thank you all for another amazing hype train on hype train on this all day sunday stream appreciate all your generosity very much appreciate all the ways you all choose to support this content literally would not have this experience without you and i never forget that thank you all for your uh, subs bits donations etc and most importantly thank you for the time you're choosing to spend here watching i do appreciate that most of all All right, this one's not so bad. If we hit weapons here and then mind control, we may get a crew kill situation, depending on resists. So I think I'm going to hold off on mind control until I damage weapons. I'm just going to be cloaking the flak 2 to start. And then we'll stagger it out. Basically, once the flak 2's down, our... Uh, defense is perfectly fine for this event. Okay, that's done now, so I'm going to pull this off. Uh, I'm also going to mind control the guy in here. Okay, they're fighting. Fire spreading. They have very high level oxygen, it appears, so this may actually be a crew kill via fire. Very possible. Yo, KSWA, thanks for those 100 bits as well. Much appreciation, dude. Thank you. Hmm. I think that's as good as we're going to do. Let's just go here. Either we get the kill, they get resist or not. It is a pirate scout, but it is the rock style vessel. So whole resist is possible on every hit. Yo, we got him. 
I would say hacking is the most versatile system, uh, Squidgy. It's definitely powerful. Okay, we have Ion Bomb to sell. I probably just want to buy fuel here. I, for one, am very happy that the hacking system is in the game. But it's a unique challenge to play without it. So it is kind of tempting to buy the heavy laser to replace the laser charger because it's cheaper to get online. I could just buy one weapon power. That's a laser every eight seconds. But if I do get the charge laser online eventually, which should be happening sooner rather than later, it is a pretty good position to be in. So right now, I can pay 75 and 50 to have heavy lasers, so that's 125 worth of scrap. Or I can pay 165 plus power to bring the charge laser online. Well, I am sure that Vulcan charge laser heavy is good enough for now. So maybe I take the slightly less expensive option of putting heavy laser online. I can even offset the cost of that further by selling the charge laser. That's sounding pretty tempting because it's about 50 to 70 scrap cheaper to bring the heavy laser one online. And heavy laser one definitely slaps. Okay, what else am I looking to do? Uh, I want to upgrade my engines. I definitely want to upgrade my shields as well. Four shields going to be almost a certainty here on a Vulcan run. I'm also going to sell this anti-drone. The big choice. Nine seconds. I guess at the end of this, having the charge laser firing every six seconds is a lot nicer with the Vulcan. I'm thinking on the flagship fight specifically when we when they cloak and then when they come back online and we have the Vulcan charged. Uh, it seems like the laser charger will do a better job of keeping the shields down and allowing us to do perpetual damage. But I can also imagine Vulcan charge heavy laser being plenty good enough. And technically, the heavy laser puts out more damage per second than the laser charger. I'm going to try this. Because now I can go halfway here. Only one upgrade to bring that online. This is a system that can defeat the flagship. Will it? Probably not, but it could. It could. I'm going to buy three drone parts. I'm going to buy five fuel. I'm going to use a drone part. I guess a good way to look at it, Squidgy, hacking is very powerful. I'd have a hard time saying the most powerful because uh, systems do such a wide variety of things. But it's definitely the most versatile, and it probably complements the most things, because you can do anything with hacking. Whereas mind control and cloaking, while dynamic, ha d cannot affect every system on the enemy's ship. Hacking is without a doubt very good. On a ship that has only three weapon slots, 
probably a fair statement to say that hacking's the best system for that ship. Okay, mind control. Noise. I'm not going to worry about min-maxing the heavy laser opportunities here because sanity. <laughs> That's why. All right, let's try mind controlling it here. Is there a possible crew kill? Probably not, but maybe. Maybe. Yeah, this guy would have to take a lot more damage in order for that to happen. Six fuel, two drone parts, 20 scrap. Yes, I accept. Did I? Oh, okay. I see. I, did, I didn't read this right. I thought we were going to exit up top, but we're not. Our exit is right here. So we got to go one, two, three, or one, two, three. I think I am going to hit up a store because one automated reloader takes us from a good weapon system to a great weapon system. Double ions here in the sun. It's almost like they knew what they were doing. Don't be a jerk now. Fire that. Whoops. Ooh, glad only one of those hit. Okay, I need to fire this. Two damage missile, yep. Double fire shield. Let's fix that up. Okay, missile launcher is down. That's what I cared about. I can vent this guy out at any time. Let's move him over and go like this. Okay, opening this door. <laughs> okay. Oh, this also connects. Fair enough. So I can go here, here, and then here before we go over. All right, I'm gonna take this door now. I kind of just taking this door to just uh, reset here. Ooh, combat two, combat one. Oh man, both combat two and combat one are good here. But I gotta ask myself, do I actually need this to defeat the flagship, or are you better off just purchasing ship upgrades? And I think ship upgrades are the way forward. All right, Zanyan Law needs to go to the clone zone once again. As tempting as this is, every single drone part we have heals whole, so that devalues the benefit of purchasing, purchasing other drones. This whole repair drone that we picked up earlier really set the tone for this run. So I, th I think I'm going to pass on buying drones. What I want here is automated reloader or weapon pre-igniter. Those, those are the big ones. Just having combat drone in here is very nice, though. 
It is very nice. <laughs> indeed you did, Zanyan Law. Indeed you did. Several times this run, in fact, but uh, you're alive again, so don't worry about it. I'm good. I thought about it. I talked myself out of combat drone. Aid the civilian ship. Is that Glade Beam, sir? Dang. Alright, I got counter mind control. I'm gonna cloak the second iteration of second iteration of the burst laser, so that will time out with the glade beam. Yeah, I think this is the fourth iteration of Zanyan on this run. He, if if there was a reward for most clone crew, he'd be uh, on my ship. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to worry about crew kill here. It's maybe possible. But very, a lot of micromanagement. Yo ho, welcome aboard, Borman. What's your real name, though? Your real name is Carrot. Nice one, classic name. Carrot the Zoltan. What's up, dude? Alright, he's gonna hang out engines here. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna buy at least one engine right now, because now I can go to four engines with a backup battery. Start. Oh, we're attacking the Schlaverschgum. Listen here, you oversized turkeys. Let's move the rock here so that we're not losing the training on our weapons guy. Well, I hit. Yeah, it is Pyderon. Uh, I think I get the realization on this run that really a lot of... I think these three weapon ships are going to be using the Vulcan to get past. It's a nice little workaround to not having hacking on a three-slot ship. Ooh, okay. So, Surrender is not an option here. Is going to be a guaranteed high scrap reward. However, Debbie the Fighting Zoltan is an additional reactor power here. So that's like 30 scrap plus an additional crew. I think here in Sector 6, I'm going to accept the 7th crew, Debbie the Fighting Zoltan. In fact, how's Zanyan's shield training? Pretty good. I'm just going to have the Zoltans hang out in the shield room. And I'm going to put the rock into the doors now. Also, what's your real name, Debbie? It is Patha1. There it is. More power is good. I like having power.
Let's go back up to eight drone parts. Feeling nice. Oh, look at this. I haven't seen that. What's it? What does option three do? Any uh, FTL legend know what this blue option does? Curious sight greets you to the beacon. A disabled rock freighter drifts in space while two manas craft battle it out, presumably over who's here to spoils. I mean, wait and then attack the surviving mana seems good because we get a, a fight here. Definitely seems good. Yeah, great call there, Doomrick. The two Zoltans overcharging the shields, having that unionable um, one shield bubble. Very nice. Repair their hole. You lose a drone and still fight? Oh, man. Oh, that's right. You repair their hole and the rock jumps away without saying anything. Then you have to fight the manis. Yo, Radver, thank you so much for 99 months. One more for that one hundo club. Thanks for that kind message, too. No, I don't even think the dialogue's funny. It's just like the rocks leave without saying anything and the manas still attack you. That's the event. Alrighty, I'm going to counter mind control here. I'd love to use mind control on their ship, but... System repair drone gives high scrap reward. Alright. Thank you, Zealousy. Appreciate the share. Hell yeah, missile launcher went down. Hell yeah. Hold on, did they just board with the engineer? I can maybe get a crew kill here. Let's slow down our roll real fast. Let's uh, collapse on this NG 4v1. And gonna cloak here to make sure he dies. Good. And now let's mind control this guy. Okay. Starting on the... Med bay, so if I disable the med bay, then I can actually get a crew kill. If I don't, this guy's gonna try to run to the med bay. Got him. In the time it took you to eliminate the manus ship, the rock must have repaired their FTL drive and jumped away. You picked the bones of both manus vessel. Defense scrambler is definitely more valuable in a no hacking situation. Sure, Piteron. That's definitely a fair statement. Pin Pin, you're just the best, kitty. You know that? Just the best. Just being a good Pin Pin on the ground. Here we go. Check for life forms. No life forms. One fuel for four missiles? Nah. Alright, Uncharted Nebula, Sector 7. Sounds cool. <laughs> Definitely don't want to do Zoltan Control in Sector 7. That's asking for a bad time. Trust me, as a person who's had plenty of bad times in this game, that's a bad time waiting to happen. Ion Storm, Ion Storm, Ion Storm. Okay. How much power do I have right now? I have 16 power. Uh, let's go to, so it's 8, let's go to 17, just so we have 9 power inside the nebula, or inside the ion storms. Then let's buy nothing yet. Soon, though. I'm going to go ahead and pop off a whole repair drone right now. Got 10 parts again. Good evening, T-Pixel. Enjoy that lurk today. Manually search. Bam. What's up, Ohm? The Rock. 
beauty, dude. All right, what's Ohm's real name here? His real name is... Taken from the forever naming game list, number 79, Thanatos. What a land. Oh, we're full up on crew. No engineers, but... Still nice. Okay, looking at power consumption right here, it's going to be pretty gnarly fighting these ships in Ion Storms. I almost want to preemptively buy power and then upgrade the ship after the fact. Or we could just skip the Ion Storms altogether and head over here right now. Oh, that's fun, J Mercury. We do have two two humans, two Zoltans, two rocks, two slugs. The re-quadrupling begins again. Alright, I'm gonna buy four power bars right now. This seems silly and it kind of is, but it puts us in a good spot defensively inside the ion storm. And we have plenty of stuff we can upgrade for that power to go into. Mainly shields right now. Wow, are you kidding me right now? Combat 2, Burst Laser 2, Flak? Wow. That's pretty rude. Pretty rude. Okay, at least to my benefit here... I can do that. And we got a breach, too. All right, we're good now. Oh, uh, no thanks. Forty one. Yep, heavy laser hitting is definitely a great noise. Good feelings all around. Love that breach noise. Hey, hey, Wonko T saying, great to see you, partner. Always nice to see you, dude. Okay, let's go ahead and just lead them out of the nebula here for a high scrap reward for nothing. Um, okay. I think I'm going to head up here and then come back down. Let's just keep following this line of scrap that's in front of us. Yeah, I think he did the majority, Zealousy, at least. Definitely true. Okay, so I'm going to just mind control these manas so they fight each other. It's much easier for me to deal with than fighting the manas outright. I start firing too. A little lackadaisical at the start of this fight because there was no big threat. Oh man, I am way over power consumption right now, dang. That's okay, we'll get there defensively. Won't be long now. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I appreciate how awful that uh, clone bay uh, off noise is. It really alerts you that you're gonna lose a crew. There's never any question. Here's a possible crew kill here. Just be careful. Never mind, NG's off. All right. There was a crew kill here, I just don't care. Let's 
Take that, Mantis Aggressor. Ooh. Do I care enough to hit a store here? I don't think I do. I'd love to get Automated Realtor right, but uh, just investing every scrap we get into our ship right now is very, very good for us. Let's just buy four shields. Get some engines going, value weapon point. We're cooking. Prepare to fight, always. Oakley dokley. Let's do this. I think I can get this missile launcher down first volley if I'm lucky. We were lucky indeed. Okay, I'm just going to follow this up here and then come back down. I mean, scrap is scrap. Let's go. There won't be a next time. Open fire. I mean, this is another potential crew kill, but I'm going to keep it simple and just go for the regular kill. Uh, I'm also going to leave the room and mind control these mantis. They can fight each other for my amusement. Hey there, Casually Challenged. Glad you could stop by for our all-day Sunday stream. Gonna be an awesome one. Rebooted the all-day Sunday stream last week. I think we're just gonna keep that rolling. Let's see why not. Okay, we got a breach in weapons. Let's get a, see if we can get a breach in O2 as well. Okay, that's down now. Okay, the engineer made it back, though. Well, okay, hold on. I think we're onto something here. If there's fire in the O2 room, that means that... Repairing's an issue. Oh, they're both repairing it. Never mind. I should have waited for them to repair this. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna hold off here. It is possible. Nope. Not with this happening. We had several ideas there, none of which came to fruition. That's alright. Okay, now we're at uh, the correct power consumption, but we still have backup battery. So I think my gamble to buy those extra power bars is a little bit excessive. Though it did force me into a line where forced me into a line where I was actually upgrading my ship, so probably for the best that happened. Even if the result right now doesn't look as impressive. Forty eight percent dodge feels pretty good, man. Oh, 
Look out, he's got the jukes. Alright, two drones. This one looks pretty straightforward. We'll just go for weapons first, keep it simple. I'm gonna keep my eye on this missile, that's what I want to cloak. Firebomb's not a big deal. Fight. We finally hit a clip here where we're not um, using drone parts as much, which is very good for us. Wow, they got jukes, though. Whoa, they hit me, though? Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, we did get the, the Zoltans right after buying that power. That's very true. Very true. All right, the fights continue. Hell yeah, dude. All right, let's go value, value, value. Well, welcome to Value Town. Attack the ship. Cool Vulcan, dude. I got one of those, too. Let's see who wins the Vulcan off. I'm going to cloak level two after I fire this Vulcan the first time. This is time that my Vulcan's charging and their Vulcan is not. You've been out Vulcan. Okay. One, two, three, four, five before this jump. So I could go one, two, three, four, five and go here. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Could also go one, two, three, four, five, and with three nebulas, probably make this jump. Oh, I don't want to double dive here. Okay. How about this option? One, two, three, four, five. Let's do that. Yo, Larger and Link, thanks for 97 months. It's a promising stealth run indeed. 97. I don't believe I'd do a second Vulcan here, no. I mean, it's always a possibility, but if you use two Vulcans, then one damage to your weapons disables the Vulcan. And Vulcan, out of all the weapons in FTL, is probably the weakest to having the uh, weapon drop off, because you go back to no charges on the Vulcan, so you're like a full 40 seconds out from it coming back fully. I think it's better to have a couple smaller weapons complementing the, Zul the Vulcan rather than having two Vulcans itself, is my feeling. OK, 
Okay, we're safe now. Oops, all dead. Trying to get away, huh? No, they're not. It sure does, larger than length. Time does fly. Oh yeah, I'll sell 15 missiles for 45 scrap. Awesome. I wouldn't be opposed to having a second Vulcan if there was no other option, though. Not opposed at all. Alright, this ship we can probably get a crew kill on. Yeah, good point. Weapon Pre-Igniter would make a second Vulcan a lot more um, valuable. All right, so I want to hit weapons first here, I guess. This is whole missile, so I'm probably going to eat one more missile here. Yeah, I'm thinking when they go to the med bay, I'm going to uh, hit them. Okay, good. Combat Drone Mark 1. Dude, that is so money right now. Perfect. What an amazing thing to find. It's going to make our th phase 3 on the flagship much more consistent. All right, let's go ahead and buy uh, value weapon points. I'm going to buy this engine as well and value piloting. This combat drone even gives us a place to put our power, which is nice. Long range scanner. Boom. You've been scanned. We've only been... Is this the f only second time we've been hacked this entire run? I feel like it is. Okay, we have a boarding drone coming in. Ion intruder drone coming into the... Cloaking. Into the engines, even. Okay. If I can break out and drop the power out of mind control, the hack won't do anything. Lucky for us, the Ion Intruder went into the perfect location. Oh, I was a little late on that. That's fine. What? Uh, okay. They're both down. This is fine. Okay, at least the teleporting missile launcher is down now. Please don't hit my clone bay. Thank you. Really should have loaded up my engines there, but I made a choice. Gotta go for drones, otherwise it's gonna take out this out. 
Can I afford to lose four power right now? No. Uh -huh, okay. That's pretty brutal. Okay, I'm gonna be diving either way. I'm just gonna back off to this jump. I'm gonna reset this. Let's not risk losing any crew or anything. It was really the first bad fight we've had the entire run, so. I'll allow it. There is a, certainly a way to do that without getting hit with the Ion Drone too, though. No problem. Ripple missile launcher. Dang. Yes, I could have Wonko for sure. Easy rice, dude. We're doing it. Let's play level 2 clone bay here. Since our exit's inside of a nebula, there's not going to be any ASB here. I'm going to buy a value drone while I'm thinking about it. Time. I'm just going to jump from this ship. Maybe. Interesting they boarded with a third there. It's uh, peculiar. Okay, piloting's about to go down here. I'm just going to jump the next sector. Interesting that didn't do damage when I jumped. Like, the projectile disappeared. Alright, store, repairs, base. Uh, do I have anything to sell here? Long-range scanners, I guess. I think I'm just going to hit the repair station. A store for automated reloader is very tempting, but each repair station that we hit here is five more drone parts. And drone parts are how we recover in between the phases of the flagship fight.
26 parts sounds pretty awesome. Okay, 96 scrap. I'm gonna buy him for 96 right now. Let's just take a fight here. So normally getting hit with a missile would be kind of a major inconvenience, but since we have this whole repair drone, we can just top off after the next fight. Very nice. Let's go ahead and grab, I think I'm going to go for eight engines or maybe even another value weapon. Let's go for a secondary value weapon here. He's will offset any damage, makes it much less likely our Vulcan will ever go down now. Okay, that was a boarding drone coming out. Okay, he's in our clone zone. Let's go here and here and here. Let's just keep on his shields here. Alright, right into weapons. No, I'm good. That'll be done shortly. Okay, level 202. Opening the doors. Okay. Flagship's happening.
Okay, phase one's been... As soon as the um, Vulcan's loaded up, I'm going to load combat drone here. Let me just go ahead and top off with uh, hull repair. Being where this last 50 scrap should go. I think level three cloaking has some good value here on phase one of the flagship fight. Gives us more cloak time. The charge time on Vulcan 11.1. Okay. Where hacking lands is kind of important here. I was going to say, if hacking, if it lands on weapons, we're pretty much screwed. We got to reset the fight if that happens. So, lucky that didn't. All right, so I'm going to fire the Vulcan here, and then I'm going to level three cloak. Hacking the battery removes power instead of adds it. Okay, we're at five now. Combat drones out. Also gonna drop this power to my control pilot. Okay, so we're gonna deal with one more cloaking phase here, it looks like. Maybe. Just holding for a second, just so those crew fully die. Okay. Very good. Backup battery hack was pretty nice. Not not optimal, but uh, not detrimental either. Wait for them at the base phase two. Just gonna go ahead and jump over here and then come back. Let's load up a hole repair. Phase two does not have cloaking, neither does phase three, so it's really just a timer till our Vulcan gets online. Okay, war doesn't justify abandoning one's value, you leave it alone. Probably also because I have 33 fuel, so. No bigs. Probably stop firing momentarily here for the uh, the drone phase. Oh, I shot his drone down. Okay.
Okay, here it is. I'm going to stop firing for a second. I'm going to cloak level two. Okay. Combat drones out. This time I'm going to... That's my control the pilot. I was going to say my control the shield repairer, but... Very nice. Okay, there's multiple breaches then. We're out. Oh, I just didn't have all the doors open, okay. Okay, phase three beginneth. Gonna buy a power bar here so I can have the combat drone online right away. All right, now we're gonna jump into them. We have a reset point of the base now. If things go wrong, which they very often do here on phase three. Okay, that's actually a really gnarly spot for them to board into. Double fire and weapons. Okay, abandon on there. Okay, tell you what, I'm just going to jump back to the base right now. There's only one other crew remaining, so we can kidnap these crew away from the flagship fight. It didn't go super poorly, and I probably could have just hung in there and won, but the next phase will be greatly simplified for uh, having done that. Our next attempt is as straightforward as you get. They're going to board with one crew maximum. We can certainly deal with that. Okay, might as well top off. We certainly had the points for it. Control getting hits, fine. Still active. All right, I'm just going to chill here for a minute. I'm going to do a level three cloak. Fire the Vulcan here. Okay, timing worked out great. Okay. 
I hear fire? All right, GG. Stealth C one shot feels nice. Feels nice indeed. Very fun run. Nice to have Stealthy out of the way. If you want to take some guesses for a score, I think we're over 6k on that run. Just had a lot, a lot of fights. I think we're close to the 60 fight mark. Symptom 23, thanks for 64 months and Lunar Base. Thanks for 65. Thank you both. Say sixty one twenty five, that's my guess. Sixty four seventeen stats. Most ships defeated at fifty five, not quite sixty, but still a very competent run for kills. Nice. All right, we're going to do one more FTL run today, and that run is going to be Crystal B. Feel free to throw out some name suggestions for this very fine red vessel. We're going to go from one of the worst ships to one of the best ships. All right, we got Derbartuk. We got MF Soap. And we got Con Insanity. Let's uh, diversify the crew here a little bit. Go. All right, give me a sec while you guys are making some suggestions here. Just going to use the restroom real fast and grab a quick refill.
Alrighty, we're back. A lot of great suggestions here. Billy Flake. Sounds good. Um, okay, here we go. Alright, Crystal B starts with no weapons, but has cloaking and has Crystal Crewmembers. Crystal Crewmembers can do this lockdown ability um, at least once per battle, locking all crew in and out, including your own crew. Simply put, uh, Crystal B is the most slamming boarding ship in the game. Is good. My as lowest board is three here. They can't damage us, which is a very nice start. So here, two crew are in. I'm gonna lock down, so we get a two on three. We have inherently more HP than the eight the humans at 125 versus their 100. But since this crew is hitting a random crew member, there is the chance if I fight a three on three that we lose a crew. Why not just lock down? Hole Smasher Laser, holy guacamole, that is awesome. Any weapon on this ship is a huge improvement, because then you can take down Zoltan ships and automated ships. In addition to 125 HP and the Crystal Lockdown ability, Crystal Crew also have uh, only 50% oxygen deprivation damage, allowing them to board automated vessels. It is a swell start indeed. I agree, Castle Raven. Can't ask for much more than a free weapon on your first reward. I will never surrender my crew to Schlavers. In fact... Okay, I, I goofed here. Um... Okay, let's just kill off this crew and then I'm gonna board over. That was my bad. Okay, we're going to board, then we're going to lock down real quick. Oh, wrong crew. Okay. Oh, man, I goofed this. I shouldn't have taken any damage here, but instead I'm going to take at least that one. Weston the Mantis. What's up, dude? So you may think uh, you'd want to board with the Mantis here, but the Mantis is actually going to become the pilot. Yeah, that was definitely a mistake, and that's okay. I'm a human being who makes mistakes every single day. McMinifist. Always nice to recognize your mistakes, though. How much for weapons is 40, right? Yep. First jump weapon, second jump crew. That's the Crystal B dream. Being able to board with the third crystal lightens up a lot of problematic jumps. I think I'm actually going to skip the nebulas here. One, I don't have Clone Bay for the manually search the wreckage event. And two, they're more likely to find automated ships inside the nebula, which is not good for us. Also, this, this uh, jump is right on the edge. So I can probably go here and then swing back around if I do this properly. Yo, Skirples, thanks for 96 months. Appreciate that continuation. Wow, it's eight years of support. Wow, eight years. Okay, terraforming pirates, fine. All right, so here what I'm going to do, I'm going to board is four. I'm going to start by boarding here. Okay, it's three crew. So once one crew dies here. Okay, two crew died. I'm just gonna move him to shields and put these guys on the clone bay. There we go. Even if a crew spawns out of here, they're gonna run to the shield room to defend, not to the, the clone bay. Okay, there he is. Swap these guys real quick for safety, though I don't think he's going to die. Why take the risk?
Okay, I'm gonna buy the weapon power now. The reason I buy weapon power before shields in a situation like this is because the weapon will allow us to fight two classes of ships we couldn't otherwise. Okay, how many jumps to this jump? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight jumps till this jump. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Something like that. We go here first. Oh, we're fighting the ship, dude. Keep that. It's gonna board weapons real quick. I'm just gonna lock down once. We get a little bit of crew training for this and we completely make the fight safe. I hear Mantis click clicking. Mantis and Rock. I may just reboard here. Might as well. Tooth. Yeah, I'm gonna dive in this sector for sure. Crystal B is a ship that can get away with diving like no other. Yoinks badoinks right now. Alright, it's gonna be a three crew ship, so I'm gonna allow one to board here. I'm gonna leave one guy behind, in fact. And then I'm gonna board, and then I'm gonna lock down with one of these crew. Or Bartuck. I'm gonna lock down with the other one, MF Soap. Okay, no weapons left, hell yeah. I want one guy on piloting here. So kind of crew. Let's double NG. Never mind. Let that. Let this play out. That's right, the Tickle Squad Reserves. I like it, Architraz. Rudat. The re-tickle re squadning begins again. Free stuff, I like that. One, two, three, four, five, one. Two, three, four, five. Perfect. Perfecto. Oh, all for your help here. Quest marker added to the map, really? Okay. Surprised it did not get pushed in the next sector. Uh, I mean, I love by a crew here, but nah. Store. All right, backup battery, clone bay, mind control, whole laser fire beat. Uh, the NGs are biomechanical, not quite robots. Crystal Vengeance. I definitely want to end up getting mind control, but I feel early mind control on this ship is less valuable because we have this very strong boarding setup. I kind of think I'm going to buy whole laser and two shields. 
probably don't need to buy whole laser, but what if I don't find weapons this run? That's how we lose. We have exactly enough to do so as well. I'm going to do this. So we're going to buy whole laser one and two shields. Whole laser one's a pretty low tier weapon, but there's one thing in FTL you got to be very wary of is that you're not guaranteed to get more crew on your run or weapons or anything. Even though we're getting lots of boarding kills, it's likely we get a lot of weapons here. Uh, certainly no guarantee. Okay, so he's almost dead. I'm going to move him to the clone bay here. And him to the clone bay as well, and him to the shields. There we go. Okay, even if they get a clone off, they're going to run to the shields again. To the quest. You find the missing cargo ship floating near the beacon. Thank heavens we've been drifting here, using the last for fuel to escape the Okay, uh, requested for fuel. I think I will get for fuel here. I don't remember what the reward is. Just 19 scrap. Okay. Uh, that's enough value. I'm going to go th three engines, one more power bar. Okay. Ba -dum -bum. Examine the station. Scrap the machinery. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. All right. So I'm going to board here. I'm going to lock down immediately. So killing off crew is one way to get kills on this style of ship, but really what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lock down, I'm going to cloak the ASB, and then I'm going to teleport my crew back so I can stop this from damaging us, so we're safe. 3-1000, 4-1000. Okay, there they are. But most importantly, there's no Flak 2 going to fire at us now. So we get out right before the ASB fires, I think. All right, we good. In a slightly different ship composition, like no uh, clone bay here, I could have gone for a crew kill to finish even quicker. I'm a pretty big fan of Manus Controlled Sector 2. Manus ships in the early game are pretty manageable. Since Manus ships also like the board like we do, they're very likely to have less power in weapons or shielding or some other function that will help us out in getting safe kills. Oh, I'd love to see the store, but what am I going to buy at a store with 12 scrap? The answer is nothing. We have two very good scrap rewards I could consider taking the store, but likely skipping this one, just looking for fights. Manning the engine room does affect FTL charge speed, yes. Okay, so we're going to load up the whole laser here. Uh, I'm going to go here. And we're going to board their weapons. Okay, didn't fire either. Awesome.
I'm gonna wait till one of these hits. There we go. Now you're cooking with mayonnaise. Gonna hold my weapon until the their weapon repairs. It's gonna happen in the next 15 seconds. Let our O2 stabilize closer to 100. sell to me they don't okay all right what could i buy for 40 scrap not much i think skipping this store is the best choice yeah we're skipping it All right, two lasers here. Awesome. I'm just gonna let. I'm gonna do this the slow way, which is the easy way. I'm gonna let them board here. I'm gonna kill off the crew. Then I'm gonna board and kill off the crew. Yeah, long range scanners definitely would be a possible purchase. Want to be able to buy more than one thing at a store is how I feel. Okay, they're going to board with two, and they get closer to going to the med bay. I'll lock it down. In fact, I'll wait for this guy to be running to the med bay, then I'll lock it down. Hey there, Blotted Brain. What a name. What a player. What's good, dude? saving here now a store seems good thank you for choosing to board in the med bay oh hey was talking to you all right we'll send these guys out of the med bay send these guys into the med bay send these guys into the o2 room Get back here when I'm trying to punch you in the face. Bud? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven before the exit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plenty of ways to get through this. We'll probably see another store too, which will be nice. Okay, automated ship, burst laser two, teleporting bomb. Yikes. Well, I am hesitating boarding here because there is a chance we take damage if I do. Though I know for a fact that I can do three damage to weapons. So I'm going to do exactly that. In fact, I'm going to drop this for the highest uh, dodge chance cloak. Okay, cool. That worked out nice.
Big bada boom. What's the best chance to see the remaining beacons? This this one's the toughest to see. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, something like that. To see this one, I have to reach this one. Just start there. Sun, intruders on board. All right, yikes! I don't think I can stop them from hitting the this down yeah they were too good there that's fine we got a decent follow up okay there is a store here I'm just going to jump to the store now Oh no, am I going to lose my teleporter off of this? Not quite. Okay, anti-bio beam, whole beam. I don't think these are what I want. Whole beam's a pretty nice weapon, though. I'm gonna buy four fuel. Um, sixty for weapons, right? Yo, Dark Sirius, thank you so much for making it official with Twitch Prime. Hope you enjoyed the Emos community and ad-free viewing. Very happy to have you. Thank you. I don't really want to spend yet. I want to see more stores. I very well could, but it's not necessarily worth it. I don't have the stuff for distress beacons currently. Let's do it. Okay, well, we at least know there's a fight here. Let's avoid the Pulsar and go this way. Pulsars sometimes offer really nice rewards, though. Help this jump first. Intruder on deck, I'll agree. Oh, okay. I meant to pick the other option. Whoops. Distress or Pulsar? I think the Distress is a potential double reward with Pirate here. Yeah, that was a trap. Fair enough. <laughs> you kidders are too cute right now, guys. Just stop it. Stop being so cute, kidders. All right, I'm just going to board into engines here to try to end this as quickly as possible. And then I'm going to hit with a whole laser here. Yeah, got to cloak this.
Bow. I was just thinking uh, last night uh, how appreciative I am to have uh, this community and broadcast and to have this place to to hang out and enjoy video games with other people, which was my original dream in broadcasting over 11 years ago. To have it be so simple and excellent now is just really awesome. So I wanted to express a little bit of gratitude there uh, for this continued experience. When I first started streaming on Twitch, uh, Twitch TV had just became a thing, branching off from Justin TV because they wanted to separate um, live personal content from gaming content. Well, because gaming content was gaining a lot of popularity as a streaming format. And I think it's fair to say now that we've kind of come full circle in that uh, Twitch is no longer just a gaming focused website. In fact, very much so. I would now say that gaming is a subsection uh, of Twitch TV. So to still exist in a state where I have, uh, I'm able to uh, support a family of five with uh, no sponsorships, no pop-ups alerts, or other uh, gimmicky things is uh, really a blessing. And as streaming continues to change and evolve for better and worse, uh, I'm just really glad we're able to have this experience and I'll be able to uh, reasonably finish this out with the same vision that I started with. I think that's a really rare opportunity in creative formats. So I wanted to thank you all for that and say I was feeling very grateful for that last night as I was thinking about it. How I see it eventually going, um, and when I talk about this stuff, I don't mean it in a negative at all. I think things change and things will continue to change. It's not about, uh, I've certainly been in a mindset before, uh, many years ago, where I was like, oh, things are changing for the worse, or, uh, oh, I don't like the way things are changing, but the inevitability of life is that things change around you, and how you adapt or how you feel about those changes is kind of <laughs> the experience that you have, right? But I think uh, in the upcoming years, my prediction is that gaming will become a smaller and smaller section on Twitch TV. So... Really glad to have what I've created be stable at this time. Darth Ratu, thanks for 32 months. Nasty Man, thanks for 51. Thank you. And that's not to say that gaming is going to be a small section of Twitch. It's just that if you look at like all of creation, you have your theater archives, thanks for 30 months as well. Think of all of the types of content that are created online. Just take YouTube for an example. There's an incredible amount of gaming content on YouTube. But if you look at everything that's created from do it yourself videos, react videos, reviews, um, TV, uh, TV and movie, um, conversation, you know, etc. Art, uh, gaming's a very small slice of the overall picture. Attack the pirate. And I imagine over time, Twitch is going to kind of be the same thing. It's just the streaming is going to have more and more people, so gaming becomes a smaller and smaller section of a much larger, very successful form of media. That is right, change is the only constant, Admiral Johnson. That's right. Yo, Zelos, thanks for 105 months, dude. Thank you. Yo, Li Jun. Let's, uh, let's get you a name here. Actually, I want Mantis Border. And we'll go ahead and take... It's the Barrel King. Classic. The Barrel King. Anyways, I think it's very interesting and very cool, all of the things that our species creates online. I think the internet's absolutely fascinating. 
And while it can be very stressful to read all of the things that are going on in the world, it is comforting to know that this place exists where we can enjoy a game together, and also comforting to know that everybody has access to that information. I think it's a big step up for uh, us, I guess. I've said many, many, many times on stream that I believe uh, creativity is cyclical, meaning it's a cycle that goes in and out. And I think a part of everybody's process, no matter what you create, or even if you realize you're creating something or not, is having time away from the things that inspire or drive you to think about the experience that's been. And I think that's what my experience is for a lot of people. It certainly is for me sometimes. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take this door. Heavy laser 2. I love heavy laser 2. Man, I just, I, I want to pick this up. I just can't afford it. I'm not gonna sell whole laser 1 for it either. I wish. Maybe there was a play here where I jumped into this first. Uh, it definitely does not happen. Okay, can I make it over here? Yes. Okay, I'm going to go down this way. Daisy, thank you for headbutting my microphone and reminding me that my lunch is ready. Thanks. I did know that, but now I really know it, because you told me with your face. What a cuter kidder. Ooh, manually search. Okay, I didn't lose a crew there. I really shouldn't have done the manually search, but I did. Play Find the Breach with the Manus. Yo, Nasty Man, thanks for 51 months as well. Sorry for missing a couple people there. I was lost in thought. As always, if ever missed late to or missed your notification, do sincerely apologize. Got a terrible case of humanized myself, and as part of our no frills format, no alerts are playing in my ears or anything. In addition to our no that part of our no frills format, also no uh, no side browsers, phone or tablet access during the live broadcasts. Okay, this is scary, but we do have the pieces to make this work. How, how do? Okay, it's only going to be a three crewer. Let's just board in now. And Der Bartuk is going to lock down. Okay, they decided not to board. That's a little bit of a problem. This is fine. Okay, that's down now. That's what I cared about. Right, you can leave, you can replace. What's the health count here? 5362. Okay, that's a two on one. We're fine. Whole missile. That sells for 32. I like whole missile a lot. You know what, S'more? Don't learn from your big sister how to annoy me, okay? Just don't do it. She knows all my buttons to push. She's taught you at least half of them already. I'm getting teamed up on over here. Yeah, talking to you, little buddy. Huh? Listen here, you cutie patootie. Knock it off. Okay, 
Cats are smart. Clever, at least. All right, how many, what, five here? One, two, three, four, five, exit. Maybe dive, too? Hold up, does this connect down? Is there an alternate where I get a dive here? I definitely could dive if I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, dive. I guess if we're only getting one extra jump on the dive, it's just as good to take it here, and I get more reveal um, on this side. Yeah, grow up, you little baby kitty. What are you, three months old or something? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. There's two kitties having a little fight in front of my screen. When I say fight, I mean they're just play fighting. All right, you dang cats. I'll take my lunch break. Fine. All right, everybody just going to stand up, stretch here real quick, use the restroom, grab some water. Encourage you to do all those same things. We'll be back in just a few short minutes for the continuation of this Crystal B run, our second run on this all day Sunday stream. Please do enjoy these cuter kitters who are definitely getting ready for treats. Yep. That's your spot, Daisy. That's true. That's true. Be back in just a moment for some more action.
All righty, we have returned. Thanks for your patience there. Actually, let me fix this and turn off this capture. I don't need two captures running at once. Okay, uh, turn and fight. We're gonna board into the drone room here. Okay, so it's boarding drone. That's fine, we're just gonna let him in then. Double missile launcher, that's pretty rude. Um. Okay, got two 20% rolls there, beautiful. I also believe they're dead before these fire again, because they are. Yo, what's up, Ekman? Ekman the human. Repair this breach, bud. Prove you can. Prove it. Boy, S'more's pretty cute, huh? Pretty cute little kidders. Alright, what's Ekman gonna do? I guess Ekman should probably be on engines. Also, Ekman's getting a new name at the next opportunity. Four, probably five. All right, ship that can't damage us to see where this hacking lands. Okay, hacking land on engines, fine. Let's go here. Okay, three crew and a boarding drone. Let me just um, swap these real quick so that the Mantis is on the lowest health unit. Uh, I should load up these. This would be a this would be a way to take out the clone bay too. Okay, gonna swap here as well. Okay. Alright, we good. Hey, excuse me, sir? Talking to you. What? The boarding drone went here? I disagree. That was scary, dude. That was scary. Alright, Ekman's getting renamed now from the forever naming game list. $25 support one time on the Patreon... PayPal via Streamlabs or 2500 bits get you on there forever. With the name Numino. That's the one. Oh, gotcha, Percy, at the bottom. Eh. Let's just roll. I mean, there's a lot of store stuff I'd like to get. I might spend some upgrades before I go to the next sector. But send the rocket. Boom. Long range scanners. Bazingi. Bazingi, we found him for free. I need that civilian shit. Alright, so I'm just gonna four-man board into this empty room, because that's where we'll fit. Okay, double mantis rock is not a joke.
believe it's going to be okay, but... fine just barely fine in fact okay let's take a look at our jump here just looking okay it's the exit i'm gonna accept this missile i could um jump away or cloak here at least but i could pull my crew back and jump before the missile hits is always an option more you're being a pretty bad kitty today i want you to know that you're a pretty bad kitty and i love you very much scrap is a lot of scrap to be holding. It's the aim of the station? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take this, uh, but before I do, I'm gonna buy at least two power bars here, just so I have this available. the layer of safety we were looking for. Gonna fire at piloting your first. There we go. That confirms the kill. On the next volley. Put on boat. How do I feel about double diving here? I bet I could double dive. Granted, I'll admit it's a rather sketchy proposition, but... I'm feeling quite confident in doing that right now. pick up a third shield four engine and have at it yeah let's spin the scrap now to take a risk there we go look at that this is frankly quite stupid and i'm gonna enjoy every moment of it Nice. Blum blum. All right, double. Double dive incoming. Okay, med base ship is awesome. So we're going to board weapons to start, and then we're going to lock down. 
Okay, there's two crew in here. I was going to do this in two parts, but I think this is better now. Yeah, five projectiles, a bit rude. Gotta let it happen, though. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay. Yeah. It's a lot of projectiles here. Owie. Gonna wait. Okay, jumping now. Let's just move him to the med bay. Alright, this one's not near as bad. There we go. Okay, we got one bad one, one good one. That's fine. Alright, I'm gonna go down first, then come back up. Looking for a store down here. Okay, maybe that dive wasn't super worth it, but I'd do it again. Sometimes because you can on this ship is a good enough reason. Reach was here then? Yeah, yeah. we're going to go for a repugnant arm the weapons here yes i can get a high scrap reward for leading them out of the nebula there's potential um other rewards here in fact i'm going to do a double lockdown on this one Gonna lock down again. I'm going for the full punch down on this. Might as well not let the missile launcher fire again. There it is. And seeing that go down before the weapons were actually expired lets us know that was a two damage missile, so we made a very good choice. Oh, okay. Well, whoops. Not a problem. He's going to heal up, come back in, and by that time, Con Insanity's lockdown should be about ready. Oh, store. Love it. Might even skip this jump.
at least one more jump before this door. This one. Alright, with three shields, we're very safe here. This ship could not hit a two shielder, let alone a three. Bonk. Damn right, Admiral Johnson. You can't do that. Call people were pregnant. It's a bad it's a bad choice. Um I'm actually gonna buy two piloting here, and then I'm gonna take the empty nebula. I get a few more jumps before heading over this way, that's fine. Prepare to fight. All right, on this one, I am going to board their ship. Maybe. Yeah, we'll board first, then I'll swap to a weapon setup. Okay, now those are down, we can swap over to weapons. Also, great news, I had to repair two to bring this back online. It's going to take a minute. Oh, they finally decided to hack. Good on them. Good on them. Right. 27. Scrap a doodle. Okay, I'm going to take this jump. I'm going to keep taking jumps for this door. Why not? Oh, we're attacking the ship, dude. Are you kidding me right now? All right, they got beam two, so it's unlikely there's any real action in this room. There's not. All right, one of these humans tries to run, then I'll lock down. Easy. Yo, Mopar Man, 33. Thank you so much for nine months. Appreciate that continued sub support. It means a lot. It takes so many people doing so many things to make this content full time and sustainable. Appreciate you all very much. Thanks for everything you do. Yep, yeah, repair drones epically bad at fighting. In fact, it doesn't fight at all. Defense scrambler. Shield charge booster. Hacking stun. Drone control. 
with a defense drone. I think I'd much prefer mind control right now. I think backup battery is almost always good. Let's buy all four fuel. Let's repair up to 23 here. Uh, I'm not going to sell the whole missile yet because I think it has a use. What I need to find is a store that's selling weapons. Okay, we're gonna go up here, and if I can, I'll go back down. That should work. One, two, three, four, and then down here to round out the rest of the sector. Okay. What if I board here? Let me just lock down with their Bartuck. And then we lock down with MF Soap. Plum base down. Well, 85% chance to dodge is not 100% chance to dodge. That's a fact. I was going to say, there's got to be anti-personnel in here. It was. Liking this. More fights. Keep them coming. Long range scanner. Boom. All right. No met made no clone bay here. Let's just board right into their drones. Okay. They have anti personnel again. Ooh, I did that. Darn. Gonna be taking some damage I didn't need to take here. Just one, though. Okay, fire and shielding. No fires and cloaking. There won't be a next time. Open fire. All right, this one I was going to board and then lock down. Nobody's in the room with me. Nice. I'm going to do this again. Just make sure this goes down. All right. Sounds like three mana's breaking in the door to me. Mantis and an engineer. That's fine. They have level three med bay. That is pretty rude. Let's just stop the repair right now. Mm 
level three med bay. Come on now. Phillips, the shield trained Zoltan. Nice. What's Phillips' real name? Hobbs. That's a classic. Probably should spend some scrap here. Let's just buy one power bar at least so we can back up battery into this and have our weapons online. You need to be more conscious of having this whole missile resource. It can be very powerful in particular situations. Like if we run into three shield ships, it can be a weapon disabler. Mr. Bartek's not full healed here. I will just gladly take the fight. All right, uh, a really kind of non-threatening weapon system here. Let's just board. Is this three or four crew? It's only two crew. Okay. I'm uh, just going to walk this guy over to Clone Bay to begin. Brecken the... Repair trained rock. I like this guy. Well, just like that, we've rounded out eight crew. Would love to be finding weapons instead of these crew, but having a full complement is never a bad deal. Brecken is also torpedo bench. Actually, yes, torpedo bench. Uh, Magtha Lion will be our starting crew on our next run. If I remember, which is an if. Okay. Just keep chasing these fights. Get to the station, dude. All right, this ship can damage us, but it'd be very unlikely. I'm still going to board weapons just to make it totally safe. Sounds good, Magdalene. We can make you the captain on the next one. I don't think that run's happening today, but that's a that's a request I can fulfill. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna fire into weapons, and if I end up getting a breach, I'm gonna take this as a small training opportunity. Drones, pretty quick training. It's actually very hard to get engine training on this ship because cloaked projectiles don't count towards uh, engine training. And you're often cloaking and then finishing the fight before they actually fire on this vessel. Guess we can just wait for this to pop back online and then fire under... I feel very little risk here. There is a small risk being incurred of the drone firing a bunch of times in a row. But at almost 40% dodge, the odds of three shield bubbles going down to a single drone is... Huh, 
it's enough that I won't stand up an AFK here, but it's low enough I'm not worried at all. It's going to get us to that really magical threshold, which is 40% dodge with cloaking, letting us get 100% dodge when we cloak. Uh, so, Galastia, I don't plan out uh, the games I play on stream, but that's definitely a possibility. I've been enjoying Nova Drift lately. Truth is, I just don't know right now. I like to do things one moment at a time. If there's ever any updates uh, or plans for games, I will post those in the Discord, but that is uh, a rarity to say the least. Hey, work metaphor. Thanks for 71 months. 71. One more for six years. Thank you, dude. Alright, we're gonna easily finish training here. Hell yeah. My piloting done. I got one more dodge for piloting. Then I can drop my engines completely to finish off the shield training real fast. This. Okay, we got the breach. We're there. Yo, chain burst laser. And chain burst laser is like not like a really good weapon, but it's a weapon that we can use to fight the flagship with. Okay. Hmm. I can go one, two, three, or yeah. Actually, that's my only choice here is to go one, two, three, dive. Okily dokily. Intruders on board. We got him. Yeah, it's a nice idea to be able to plan out all your games and stuff, but in actual execution, I've found over my career, it's very hard to commit to particular games on particular days and still enjoy playing them. I am extremely fortunate not to be relying on one game specifically for the majority of my fan base. I just have like a solid 12 games I love playing right now, which is awesome. I have many times in my career, especially early, tried to plan out like, oh, we'll play this game from this hour to this hour, and then we'll play this game from this hour to this hour. But the problem inevitably arises that the day or hour rolls around and you don't want to play that game, and then it's very hard to play a game that you don't want to and be uh, entertaining or enjoyable to be around. Nothing is quite as vicarious as uh, streaming in that regard. Knock it off, guys. Hey. 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 Hey! You're literally chewing on a live wire, buddy. Nice. Cats are awesome. He's being a baddie man today. Being a baddie man. Well, it is all about fun, but at the same time, it's kind of not about fun because the stream does support a family of five and has for 10 years. So there, there's definitely fun involved, but there's also uh, decision making in regards to that. 
Uh, sure. Send the Zoltan over there. Bam. Improved oxygen? Hell yeah, dude. And no, that is in no way a complaint. I'm one of the luckiest people on this planet and platform. But my observation is if I'm not having fun, people have less fun in the stream. Okay, um, I got a choice to make here. Do I upgrade my weapons or do I go for engines here? I think I'm going to go for engines. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to grab six engines here. And level two backup battery. Okay, I'm done spending for a moment. Six engines with this full training should let us get away from the ASB, which I just now realize is in a nebula, so there's no ASB here. I could have held that scrap for mind control or something else. All right, let's go. Okay, I'm going to move the Mantis onto the... Mantis onto this guy so the second he tries to run i can lock down and now the lockdown begins and will not end until all crew are dead <laughs> i do that sometimes too jack and not i do that sometimes too in fact, I think I'm one of the only broadcasters I know of that regularly plays three or four games in a broadcast. All right, Mantis controlled. Okay, here's a store. Taking the store now seems good because the pathing is a lot nicer if I go up first. But maybe I can consider just dropping uh, this fight first and uh, sacrificing these jumps to go through this way, get a little bit less flexibility and movement, but still a good um, a good setup. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, I mean, we want to exit from this jump, and to do so, I think we have plenty of room taking this path. Go over here, come back up and around through the exit, and then down, or over, and then through the exit this way. All right, I'm sold on this. One more jump than a store gives us enough to buy anything we want, really. Wow, one more month, Fire Pixie, for one hundo. One zero zero. Thank you. I actually think that's probably the biggest freedom overall of running a broadcast that doesn't take sponsorships is the ability to have more flexibility in game choices because um, if you have to weigh every game choice and decision you make on stream on what will get you the most viewers and therefore the highest sponsorship uh, offer that really puts a pinch on playing what you want to big pinch All right, the store sucks. I guess I could pick up defense drone. It's not like good with eight crew. I can definitely manage mind control. Hmm. I believe that Mac line. No address a real time sync. It's a good one. Glad you've enjoyed it so much so far.
All right, well, here's a, here's a fact of this ship, that with just six lasers, I could defeat the flagship because I can board the shields and then lock down three times to take down the shields. That's always an option available to us. Without counter mind control, though, if I lose one of my borders on phase three, that's tough. That's tough. I'm trying to think of the reliable value of drone control when I already have cloaking. No, I'd much rather have mind control here. I'm also going to sell the whole missile at this time, and I think bring weapons on. 125. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go for weapons now, just so I have it as an option. And then I'll repair here to 23. I'm going to buy four fuel. I'm going to be pretty happy with what just happened there. All right. What level did you get for unlocks um, in seven hours, Magfly? I'm curious. I know they rebalanced the early game uh, of Nova Drift as far as unlocks and stuff goes. Curious how that worked for you. All right, Manus Bomber is a pretty high class ship. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and board, though. I'm going to wait till two crew are in this room, and then I'm going to lock down. All right, let's do one more lockdown here, just so the uh, this comes down. We also know they're in this room, so I can hit them. And I can lock down the inner room to finish it. I'm worried there's three manas about to come in the room, so I need that chip damage. Okay, it wasn't three manas, but it was still pretty scary. Thirty-nine. All right, there's a store towards the end of the sector. That's cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Six, seven, boom. Okay, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exit. Uh, one, maybe, maybe we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that right? So this needs to be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, Magline, let me know you're at. Good to know. The I think the level only appears at the end of runs where it starts pushing up the XP bar. I don't know if that's available anywhere else. Thanks for sharing. Internal noob, thanks so much for 98 months. 98 consecutive as well. Two more for that 100 club. Cheers. Dang. The ship. Same tactic here. I'm going to let two crew in the room. And we're going to lock down. I hesitate if I want to do the second lockdown here, but I do. Ooh, missile launcher toggled. Hell yeah, dude. 
Yeah, Lurker's number one. Speaking of Lurkers, let's do our Lurker roll call for today. If you're lurking in the channel, meaning you're an active watcher, but you're not an active chatter, you have the capability to, and you want to, now's your time to post some of your favorite emotes in the chat. Just thank you all for your silent contribution. You truly are the lifeblood of this entire site, but none more so than this channel and community. Recognize and appreciate you, Lurkers. The best. We got out before the solar flare. That's amazing. I'm actually going to let the solar flare go off just so I can be full health for the next fight. Maybe didn't need to take that damage, but it makes the next event easier or more secure. Yo-ho, look at all those beautiful lurkers. I see ya. That's a lot of them. What's up, Elvis Ghost, Destin the Insane, Titan Odin? More Drew, Catbert. Denai, good to see us. Silvershot, Href, Phelanmore, Rodigo, Lunar Base, Conexus, Morgan Viking, Darth Feratu, what's up, Draka, Bewindler, Leo Farah. Yeah, buddy. That's where it's at. Lurkers is where it's at. Oh, I don't have teleporter up right away. Okay. Double Mantis on doors. It's kind of a jerk move. All right, I'm just going to open my doors here and cut my O2 real fast. I'm going to teleport in their weapons. Just going to lock it down real quick. Get back to the med bay now. Open this door as well. Oh, they might actually get that down. Never mind, it's level two. Okay, lockdown. Yo, rank 52. Also, I think the last unlock's rank 60, so you're like really cruising there. Oh, sorry, did you want access to your med bay? My bad. My bad. Attacking, dude. All these Manus bombers today. We already know the formula for this one. We let two crew in the room. We lock it down. We lock down again. We hit this room and then we finish them off. Good, Digital Junior. So many cool people here today. Dang. Oh, hey, Elvis Ghost. Thanks for 64 months during that Lurker Roll Call. Thanks for bringing the corn dogs, man. Everybody appreciated that. Okay, they have fire drone and this drone, so it's very unlikely they have anti-personnel. And to that note, I'm gonna go here. Yeah, I'm gonna win versus four humans, no problem. I'm gonna send these two crew out of the room real quick. I'm gonna put the Mantis on the lowest health human, the one that took the double hit to start. That means the guy in the corner is gonna rush for the med bay first. And when he does, we lock down. 
Now creating a four on three. Well, this upcoming store looks pretty juicy. Intervene and defend the Alp. Definitely could board here, but I'm not gonna. Yay, missile launchers down. Anti-ship fire drone sells for 30 and a double reward. Oh boy, this store is going to be awesome. Make sure there's not a store behind this as well. Okay, double fight before our dive. Hell yeah. All right. Still no mind control showing up. Not against the idea of buying drone control now. Also, charge two looks good, but it we'd have to give up one of these weapons to make it work. I guess drone control and even fire drones are right for the flagship fight. I'm thinking phase three getting through the super shield is going to be the main complication. And combat drone fire drone would certainly help our six lasers out in a very large way. Yo, King Lysandias, thanks for 65 months and that prime continuation. Thank you. All right, I'm going to do it. Fire drone works a lot like beam drone for the purposes here. Repair one. Let's also buy automated reloader. I think that's smart. So leaves the a whopping 140 scrap here too. I'd just be picking up four shields here. Another Manus bomber. Well, we know the formula. We board. We lock down with two crew in the room. We lock down again. We fire at this room, which they're all going to be trying to enter. And then we lock down a third time to finish them off difference in this fight is we're not under any real risk. Fire drones basically going to be used here as a way to strip Zoltan's shield, not as a crew killing get. We have such a powerful crew killing composition already that fire drones actually a much weaker option compared to our, our very nice lockdown boarding. Uh, you got me there, Optician. It's fun to burn stuff sometimes. I agree. I agree. Aid the civilian ship. Another Manus bomber style vessel. So cool, man. Okay, let's go here. 
Two crew in the room, lock it down. The difference this time is I need to hit this right here. Still gonna lock down again to be safe. So... Let's go like this and then here. There we go. I believe that's gonna be good enough. Uh, less crew on the Amanda's aggressor then. Fair. Sweet double reward from the civvies. Love it. Hey there, Snaggletooth. What's good? Check for store at the start of the next sector before we do anything. Okay. Just gonna let him in here. Saw the pilot leave, so... We're just literally gonna be a race to finish this. Look it down. That means if the pilot left, there's not crew left. Oh yeah, I should have done this first. Apparently one crew left? I was wrong. Okay, so the piloting crew went to man some other system there. Makes sense. I really felt like there was going to be a five crew ship, so it was. NG Homeworlds or Uncharted Nebula? I'm just going to say since we have long range scanners and our setup is already competent to defeat the flagship, that I'm going to head Uncharted Nebula, Uncharted Nebula. Get the maximum amount of fights at the rest of this uh, run. Because I think this run certainly has the ability to be quite silly, maybe even max out systems if we have a good couple nebula sectors, which why wouldn't we? We don't, Wonko. It'll still be a nebula style sector though. Same difference as far as Fleet Pursuit goes. Okay, I'm gonna go one, two, three. Just looking at this, there's not actually that much room to maneuver, and these jumps don't really exist for the purpose of the run, so I wanna make sure we get enough jumps on the way over. Also, three fights, no store upcoming. Let's go ahead and grab four shields and a power bar. Oh yeah, four shields. Uh... All right, let's just board and hit the clone bay. Okay, let's wait till they're all dead and then we'll fire out. Okay, we did not get the kill fully there, that's tough. Might be taking extra 
missile hit here. Or not. Hmm. All right, let's lock down and destroy weapons here. Ah, here we go. Gonna do it the quick way. Okay, locking down. Uh, pretty much everyone calls me Lethal or Lethal Frag Magzalion. I usually don't respawn when people use my uh, my real name. It's not like a privacy issue or anything. It's all public information, but... I don't know any of you all that well, so I find that a little bit weird when people use my real name to address me. So I generally don't respawn. I don't take that as a malicious or creepy thing. It's just is what it is. Okay. I would say for the vast majority of cases, I'm just speaking for myself and other broadcasts I've talked to, you're usually best off addressing the uh, broadcaster or entertainer by their handle. That's what they're streaming on. I think that's probably best policy. More, you are a piece of work today, my little man. I don't think mom wants you all over her desk like that. I don't think so. Attack the pirates. Alright, this is a guarantee to be a two crew ship, so we're just going to board his four and not do any locking down or anything. Cloak these missiles if I need to. Didn't even get to five missiles. Oh, that's a glaive beam, dude. Glaive, though? I might use that. I might use that. That would be amazing, Magline, if we got Crystal Homeworlds in the next sector. I would really enjoy that. That would definitely be a choice that would make me deviate from the... the Nebula sector. One hondo. All right, the ship can't hit us. Let's just go. Let's just go here to start. There we go. 
And Glaive definitely puts in the work. Forty-four, twenty-one. Ooh, store. Okay. Make sure I'm getting enough jumps here. Okay, this connects down here. Then yes, we are. So we're gonna go like over here somehow, and then come back this way. Sure. Let's store it up. All right, well, the glaive was an idea, but let's be honest with ourselves that just loading heavy laser in here sounds a lot nicer. Let's also grab double combat drone, because phase three of the flagship, this is very, very good. Hell, all phases of the flagship, that's very good. And that leaves me with 249 scrap. The only thing I really need to buy is mind control from the next store, which could be on one of these jumps. Let's hold out a little hope for that. Alright, four jumps. If I go one, two, three, four, five, we're not going to make this jump, but we'll make this one. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and then we'll make both these. No, we don't have space for mind control. That's a good point. Uh, let's go teleporter. Mr. Booga! Alright, Mr. Booga. Back into the nebula. Thanks for the scrap, bud. All right. Well, to begin here, um, I'm going to board their weapons. Once the weapons are down, we can do other stuff. Got to be very wary of this teleporting bomb, though. Dokily. All right, I'm going to get heavy laser loaded into the weapon system after this fight. Just forgot to do that. Whoops. Not my med bay. I was using that, sir. Using that. Quite the fight. Yeah. Alright, let's grab this weapon power power bar.
Extra two damage on the end of this is awesome. To buy a value cloak here too and a power bar. Let's go. I'd much rather have defensive stuff online before jumping than my weapons. Only exception to that would be if I had pre-igniter. Giant alien spiders, I'm good. Me good. LRS, here we go. Alright, that's quite a few laser beams. Okay, they sent out Ion Intruder. Let's just lock him in here. In shields, that's actually kind of nasty. Okay, when he tries to run, I'm going to lock down here. Okay, no problems anymore. Oops, all dead. Oops. Distress exit it is. This didn't pass out quite how I thought it was going to, but losing access to a half jump, not a big deal. Explosive replicator sells well. Bin for yourself, attack and escape. I'm just going to lock down here. Um, if we lock one, that should do it. Can also just punch down the missiles here to keep it totally safe. Let's do that. Okay, we already did it. Never mind. Only a four crew ship? Wow. Lucky me. El Nub Nub. Sorry, El Nub Nub. Enjoy this free rebel fighter ship I'm about to give you. Enjoy that. Mantis Homeworld Slug Controlled Nebula. I actually think Mantis Homeworld sounds a lot cooler. Mantis Homeworld has some pretty slamming double rewards you can get. The downside is we have to fight a lot of manas. We've already proven we can fight late game mana ships, no problem. Excuse me, just using the restroom real quick and then we'll continue this run.
All right. Uh, first things first, I'm going to buy level two medbay right now. Uh, let's buy... Let's buy these two points before I forget. Actually, hold on, hold on. Not yet. Let's just buy a couple more power bars and just stop there. So level two medbay will allow us to complete the Kazak Pleth Killik uh, Mantis Homeworld event if we find it. Okay, double ion combat to beam drone. All right. Just to hit the weapons here should be quite adequate. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm just going to follow this Gigantor scrap line through the sector. More scrap, more better. I think this might end up being a high score run. Or our top score for this save anyways. Okay, two are going to board here. Going to lock it down. Ooh, three got in. Okay, well, three on four should still be fine here. Definitely sketchier, though. We're good. Might need to swap a crew here. Or not. Man, our fighters are so chunky. Cool, dude. I don't want to sneeze. Too bad. I sneezed big time. I sneezed so hard, I woke up a little baby kitty. That's tough. That's sorry, S'more. I know. I know. Yo, here we go. You cross paths with a man of shit looks to have had dozens of layers of armor plating at or must be a hundred year career. Its captain is legendary thief Kazakh Pleth Killik. Your crew look frightened. Hail him. Your man of screw member steps forward. He and Kazakh Pleth Killik perform a weird kind of alien haka. You meanwhile charge the battle system. So in order to complete the Manus homeworld quest, you must, one, kill off all the crew on the enemy ship, and you, two, have to have level two medbay or clone bay in order to revive him in time. Check for survivors. Bring him to the med bay. Your haste is paid off and you're able to bring him back from the brink of death. When his sense returning says, I never thought I'd see this day, but I'm willing to devote my ships to your cause. All right, dude. Manus pheromones in Kazakh. Um, do I want to replace anybody here? You know, honestly, I'm not looking to add another Manus in. You're just going to be renamed to McMinifus. Reborn is McMinifus. There we go. 
And we have room to get the quest done. That's sick. Love it. Yo, Baker Stodge, thanks for 41 months. Thank you so much for that continuation. Appreciate you, Baker. It's going to keep taking the fights. I got oodles of scrap right now. Let's just buy value weapon. Sure. Okay. Boarding. Locking down. I think on this one, I'm actually going to destroy the uh, missile launcher. Do a second lockdown. Also can hit the crew, this right here. Okay, it's a little bit preemptive, I think, on my go. Yep. I could have finished this fight with uh, the missile launcher not firing again. But I didn't. How many jumps to the exit? Four, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, plenty of room. something here. I'm going to go here because it reveals a lot more jumps. Intruder on deck. Bounty time. Okay. Okay, they hacked teleporter. That's a little bit annoying. Should have plenty of time to crush here, though. They're cloning. Okay, our crew got pulled back. That's fine. Point is, they have less crew now. I think this has a maximum ion damage it can do. Wait till the next hack happens, then I'll board again. If I'm not mistaken, there's exactly three crew on board. That's it. You done, son. Five fuel, 65 scrap. Love it. Let's just take the fight. Sun Pulsar 2, huh? Wow. All right, let's buy engine. Oh, let's just buy double engine here. Let's go. Yeah, we've got enough with backup battery now to fully power everything. Cool.
Mantis Bomber. Well, we already know the time-tested and proven formula for this fight. We board, we let two crew in the room, we lock down. We lock down again, we hit this room, then they come in, and then they're done. Actually not gonna fire the heavy laser, because if the heavy laser hits, they'll actually run to their med bay, and then, uh, well... It's no good. I mean, I'm going to keep taking these jumps if they're scrap. I love scrap a doodle. Let's go. Attempt to download? Okay. Download denied. You know what? I have 33 drum parts. We're doing this. Well, how do I want to do this? Let's just um, put the first volley into cloaking. Here we go. They had a value point in weapons even with all this. That's nutty. I respect it. Hey, there's a store here. Oh man, I really want to hit the store because I have explosive replicator to sell and burst laser one. But I lose out in the Kazakh quest that way too. I'm just gonna take this. We're gonna make more taking events to give scrap than we are selling at a store, as nice as selling off our extra goods would be. will be the much higher scrap route. Here we go. Okay, boarding drone. That's tough. Let's lock down here. Anything with the sensors, sir? I can't see. Sector 8 store is always a possibility. Yep. Always. Who's almost dead? You're fine. Almost not fine, but fine. I'm actually going to put uh, the him here on the spawn spot for the anti-personnel drone just in case it loads one. Okay, level 202, gonna open the doors, get this repaired. another store. Hell yeah. Oh, 
All right, to the quest. Laser Charger Mark II. All right, all right. Sign me up. Oh, sick. Lunar Base, you got saved by NG Man about to spur, so that's a good feeling, dude. I think I'm going to make the swap to Charge 2, Burst Laser 1, Chain Laser, Heavy Laser. It's a little bit faster of a system than what we have right now. All right, cool. I'm going to buy the remaining power bars now. Gonna repair one just in case you get hit by something on the way out here. Thinking weapon pre-igniter is very cool. What does that give us to start with? That gives us a six laser volley to begin. I'm gonna buy a weapon pre-igniter. It's not like a hard carry here, but I don't have much else to spend money on at this moment. And the charge will only get one pip, but it at least allows us to fire immediately on phase three of the flagship. Also gives us potential uh, double volley on the first cloak of the flagship fight. So good things all around. Let's just do this. We got the parts. One really nice part about Pre-Igniter here, too, is it makes the uh, Chain Laser a lot closer in timing to the Burst Laser 1, since we can not have to charge it for 16 seconds at the start of the fight. It's a definite upside. Amanda surrender of the goods. Trying to get away, unlikely. Lock it down here. This combo is actually pretty deadly. Not in this particular case, but it's something you gotta watch out for. So enemies don't time out their weapons the same way the player does. They have the same axis to fire them when they're up. And these two time out in such a way that the heavy lasers hit at the end, which is very deadly. Alright. Examine the station. Intruders on board. Oh, my Zoltan's hanging out. No two. All right. This ship is very difficult to board overall. I think this is going to be the one ship I'm just going to give up the regular kill on. Maybe not. Oh, excuse me. Sneeze is still messing me up. Okay, missile launcher went down. That's the important one. I 
All right, to the next sector, the last day. Okay. It's the same amount of jumps here and I don't need a repair station. I'm gonna take this fight on the way over. Four jumps to the base, no matter what we do. Okay, what are we spending scrap on? Let's buy value drones, value teleporter, uh, value, value, value. Oh, I guess I can get to the base in three if I take this jump. I don't feel like this is that much of an extra risk. It's still, yeah, let's, let's go for it. Taking risks. Yep, all of the value. I cause a plex, all of it. Every last value. This guy's a little bit ahead on his fight. Or he was. Not anymore. Seventy one scrap, love it. Big old sip of water here. Hundred and eighteen. I'll just hold on to this to the end. Doesn't look like we're gonna quite max out, but pretty close. And considering the kind of minimal amount of stuff has dropped here, it's interesting. All right, I'm gonna lock this down till the missile launcher no longer exists. Missile launcher's down. Oops, all dead. Oops, sorry about that. Oh, I should have looked at the jump first. I'm going to leave these alone. At most, it's going to be a small scrap reward. And uh, the worst is a five hole repair. So if this didn't, this got overtaken and we took five hole damage, that'd be a pretty major mistake. If I would have looked if the repair station was still active, could have taken that uh, safely. Oh man, excuse me. A sneeze just wrecked me earlier. Post, but missile launcher. Let's go. They have cloaking too, yikes. Do I board this ship? I think I do. Yeah, I board piloting here, in fact.
There it is. Please go down, thank you. Oh, the missile launcher stayed up? Oh, man. That is pretty rude. Pretty rude. You know, I'm going to accept this one damage if it happens. It didn't happen. Double dodge, legit. Thirty-one fifty-one. That's nice. Two hundred and eighty-six scrap to spend before the flagship fight. Okay, let's go value here. Let's grab a couple more values there. Maybe just one more. Let's grab three cloak. Let's grab three oxygen. Let's grab three sensors. Okay. Only the most oxygen for my crew. Yo, Pyderon, thanks for 27 months. Appreciate that prime continuation. Thank you. All right, to the base. Okay, let's think about the flagship fight real quick. Um... I think I just board shields and then just devastate them. Board shields, maybe even try to hit cloaking right away or disable the missile launcher, in fact. Yeah, we'll board shields lock down and then destroy the missile launcher to good effect, I think. But I'm remembering the timing correctly. It's been a while since I boarded on this ship, on the flagship. I think by the time the third... Lockdown ends, the shields are pretty much fully down, and their cloaking's done. Thinking about all three phases right now. Specifically thinking about phase three at this moment. No mind control makes this a little tricky. We have enough value points so I can just diffuse the crew out into different rooms that can handle a mind controlled unit. Should also get a, a decent handful of crew kills on phase one if things go well. Okay, I'm gonna say this. Where the hack lands here on phase one is really important. Oh no, anything with the sensors, sir. I won't be able to see. All right, boarding shields. I'm gonna lock down right away.
Uh, do I fire now or do I wait? I'm gonna go here. Cool, missile launchers down. Ooh, do I want to take a fight in here? I think I do. I'm gonna let him in. I'm letting him in and then I'm locking him down again. And they go for the med bay. Okay, very important here that I have the uh, Mantis on the lowest health crew so we can get a cascading three on four as quickly as possible. Gonna lock down when he's in the room going towards the med bay. And locking down again. Okay, we're looking great. Could even hit empty room here to kill off the next crew. Basically optimal phase one. Killed off all but two crew and did not take a lick of damage. Okay. Dang, Pyder Run's only been 27 already. What's up, Mr. Smee? Watched some of your railgun runs uh, last night. Nice work. Alright, phase two of the flagship fight has uh, no cloaking, so it really it becomes a DPS race, and we are very good at racing right now. I'm gonna fight them at our base. I'm gonna board shields right away again, and then I'm gonna lock down. Oh man, they have no pilot. No pilot right now. Hello. Hello. Let's back up battery into combat drones, and when this pip is up, I'm going to fire at uh, the missile launcher again. Okay, at least there's a fire started. I'll leave the room here. Nice. Hey, okay, drones are also down. Did I just take damage there? I did not. Too close. Alright, it's gonna lock it down. Okay, I did get hit there. That's fair. Deserve that. Could have optimized phase two just a little bit more there, but overall a huge success. All right, phase three is tricky because they have boarding and mind control, but they only have one crew, so we remove the boarding portion of phase three. There's just going to be mind control to deal with and the Zoltan super shield. 
So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna separate out my crew into systems that have three power in them. Teleporting uh, sensors, O2, and doors. And then we're gonna hope one of these, uh, these guys get mind control, we can just ignore them completely. If one of our main crew does get mind control, we have somebody nearby to uh, enter the room to disrupt them. But this one's going to simply start with loading up two combat drones and going absolutely ham on the flagship. Here we go. It's ham time. Pass the ham, please. Okay, cool. He got mind control. That's beautiful. Oh, I didn't go level three on this. All right. Gonna let this continue charging up because it's faster than the other weapons. Oh, there's no crew left. All right, I goofed. Okay, I, I remember this timing correctly, and I think I do. If I go level three cloak as the missiles are reaching my ship, where are they coming from? There they are. Then the super shield should pass or should uh, the super weapon should pass over right as the cloaking's ending. Okay, it was level two does that then. No worries. Can we teleport the mind control guy? I don't think so. You can mind control enemy ship and then teleport the crew to you, but not the other way around. I don't think. Okay, double fire and shields is beautiful. Who's mind controlled shield guy? Whatever. G G. Cool run, man. Cool run. Nice job, Chili Flake. GG. I think I'm going like 65.50 is my guess. I think we had a lot of ship fights. We got a long range scanner around um, sector three, but before that, we still had a monster scrap sector. What? What? Hold on. Did my mouse just die? Is that what's happening right now? No. Okay, that's a little peculiar. A little peculiar indeed. What the hell? Oh, I see. I was fat fingering my keyboard. Got it. It's all coming together now. Damn you sausage fingers. Hey, Demon Hot Rod, thanks for making it official with Prime, dude. Really appreciate that. Thank you, man. 7386. Whoa. That is a crazy score. Seventy three eighty six stats. 62 ships defeated. 
2,584 scrap collected. Wow. That might actually be a personal record for me uh, on scrap collected. I don't remember having over 2,500 ever. That's pretty ridiculous. Damn. What a run. 2584 scrap collected. Whoa. Whoa. That's unbelievable. Okay, let's go back to the hangar here. Uh, we're now 6 of 28 ships completed. Uh, let's pick a Type C vessel. As we've, well, I guess we did Type C today. Let's pick a... What is going on with this? Okay. Oh. I'm just going to unplug this. One sec. Plug in over. No? I think my mouse is dead? Something funky happened here. Okay. Yeah, my mouse just died. One sec. All right, guys. Well, my mouse is currently not responding. Oh, it kind of went there. I bet the receiver is dying or something on the mouse. Definitely a weird one. Oh, it's showing it has connection. Well, I guess what I'm going to do here is I'm going to reboot my PC and see if that fixes the issue. Uh, we're not done streaming yet, so I'll be back in a little bit. Just give me a minute to sort this out. In fact, yes. I guess I'll...